Hey guys, my quilting life. Today is Sunday, 19th. Yes, the I just wrote it down. I never remember. Anyway, so welcome to my channel. Hi, me. This is my quilting life. Today, as the description says, I'm gonna make a carpenter's wheel or carpenter's star. Um, it has two different names. Unfortunately, I don't know the correct one because I just don't know it. I've made this before several times actually. I, I love making this one because it's so easy and especially with 10 inch squares, which is what I'm going to use today. Um, oh, there it is right there. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So I can't see comments yet because, well, it's not loaded yet. That's a horrible picture on there. I don't know how that one happened. But anyway, so as soon as this loads, then I'll be able to uh, see who's all here. Hi, little B cross. And I'm gonna move that out of my way. There we go. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to make today. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Linda. Hi, Joe. Hi, Barbara. Hi, guys. This is what I'm making today. I had to color it with my color pencils because instead of using one background color, I'm gonna use two. Um, so the recent quilt that I made, uh, what did I make? Um, trying to think cake plate that one had lemon yellow and lipstick pink so I'm going to use the rest of those I had used them on something else and then I took the yardage off for the cake plate pattern and now I have a little bit left over and I want to use it all up as much as possible so instead of having anything left I'm just going to use it all up and the cool part is, is the same layer cake that I used to make that pattern, I'm going to use that same layer cake. This, it's the same exact, wherever I stuck it, somewhere around here, it's the same exact everything that I'm going to use in the carpenter wheel or carpenter star, however you know it by. That's what it is. So I drew a little diagram for me to know where my colors are going to go and stuff. And I'm actually going to put this together in a totally different manner than what everybody would th think. I'm going to do my own thing here, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, normally you would take two 10 inch squares, draw a line down the center and draw and so on each side of the line. I am not going to do it that way um, because I want certain colors to end up in certain spots. I'm actually going to do it by way of pre-cutting half square triangles off instead of drawing a line I'm just gonna chop it up on that line from corner to corner and then find the coarse pieces that go with each other that way every color gets spread throughout here and it's not scrappy it'll be consistent through the whole thing so that's what I'm gonna do um, let me see who else is here real quick before I grab the stuff I needed because I set it aside like always um, when I clean up that's what happens all right, we got, we said Joe, so we got Barbara, Robbie, June, Marlene, Charla, Rowena, Kim, uh, Grandma Curio, Curio, I don't know how to say that. I <laughs> finally was able to watch live from Canada. Well, welcome. Um, and if I'm screwing the name up, I'm very sorry. We'll just, we'll just say Grandma. <laughs> uh, we got June. Let's see. We got Lynetta, Kathy, Linda, Teresa, Jody. All right, guys. So welcome. Let me grab the cake because I stuck it up out of the way, which is what I tend to do. All right. So here's my layer cake. It's the same layer cake that I used to create the um, cake plate pattern. It's called Contemporary and it's got all these colors. I showed you guys the quilt. You've seen the pictures. So I'm going to work with this and then I already have some pre-cut 10 inch squares because obviously you have left over when you cut yardage. Instead of having the whole strip I just had 10 inch squares cut because I cut everything. Magic of camera. <laughs> but I have just a little bit of the yellow left or lemon, which is the name of the color. And then I have a lot of it of the um, lipstick color left. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down into um, 
well, we're going to count because these are going to be nine and a half inch squares around the outside. So right now I just need to count how many um, 10 inch squares I need to go all the way around. So the inside, all my background will be the lemon yellow using all of it up because there's barely anything left. And then the outside will be the lipstick pink and then the four corners will be the lemon yellow, which will take nine and a half inch squares. So at the end, I will cut one strip from this that is nine and a half inches and I'll get the four um, nine and a half inch squares from that. So I already have some squares start. So started it says I need 16 yellow 10 inch squares. So I have three here. And then I have how many? I need 14 pink 10 inch squares. So I have one, two, three here. Obviously, you get four 10 inch squares from your length of fabric. So that's why I have three left of each color because I only need the one extra piece when I cut 21 from each pile, or else I would have had an even number. So I'm going to move all that out of the way and I'm going to start by bringing you guys over and chopping this yardage up and get that done and out of the way. Um, let's see who else is here real quick. <coughs> uh, let's see. Okay, I thought it was for posted my winner. Oh, you posted your winner? Let's see. Oh, Kim won. Yay, that's so awesome. Let's see. Linda's here too. And the other Linda. Judy's here. And the August Creative Notion package. Wow, that's so awesome, Kim. Cool. Um, you guys can do that all on the side with the whole email thing because I know how Teresa's video is. It's going to say email me. <laughs> so make sure you do that, Kim. Um, that's everyone's congratulation. congratulations to Kim. Hi, Vivian. Uh, hi, Rachel. Um, Lisa Brown won the Liberty Box. That's so awesome. Well, ho hopefully they reach well, besides Kim already being here. Hopefully you'll hear from Lisa soon. All right. So let me move this out of the way. We're going to turn the camera. Um, I'm going to turn you guys all the way around. It's going to go pretty quick. We're just going to stick you right here and Hi, Pepsi girl. We're going to tip you down so I can do some cutting. And I'm going to attempt to pay attention to the comments. Just found that I'm going to be a great nanny February of 2021. Ooh, awesome. Congrats. Watched your paper piecing and now I'm wanting to try it. Oh, it's so simple. So simple. All right. What did I say? I needed 16 of one and 14 of the other. So I need 16 of this one. So if you want to do a carpenter wheel or carpenter star, however you guys call it, um, with uh, two different background colors, then this is what we're doing. So I'm going to start by, oh, that is a nice, almost pretty darn straight line. I'm going to start by grabbing a rotary cutter that is way over there because that's one thing I don't have sitting right here. And I'll be right back two seconds. Although I can still chat when I walk away. Okay, so I'm going to start by trimming my side. That way everything's nice and straight, even though it probably was in the first place. And I'm going to start by cutting 10 inch squares. So I'm going to go to the number 18 since I'm on the eight. I'm trying to make it to where we're right in front of the camera. That way you guys can see. So I'm going to get four out of this and I have five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I don't know if I'm going to get that many. I might have to make my four corners be the other color because I have plenty of that. 28 is the next number. I 
I can at least go by tens. <laughs> I'm so horrible with math or I have to count, but when it comes to tens, it's okay. So this is how much I have left. I'm just going to subcut that into something else later. I'm not going to bother with it right now. And then we're going to turn these to the side. So I'm definitely not going to have enough yellow, but I will for the inner side. Hopefully. If not, I'll turn those into pink also. I'm just hoping that I can use all this up. That was the whole purpose of my little drawing here, was to use all this up. Let me make sure that all my salvages are lined up, and they are. Everything's nice and straight on a line. Perfect. Look at that. My ruler is up here. I'm going to cut my salvages off first. <clears throat> And I'll let you guys look at my chart. I'll actually try to hold it up to the screen as best as possible. And you could take a screenshot of my two different color thing. That's not going to turn out exactly like that only because now I know that I didn't have enough of this yellow, but I didn't plan that either. I just thought I'd be using both of them up. That's okay. If not, like I said, I don't really care as long as I'm using all this up. So I didn't want it left for anything else. So now I'm just subcutting my 10 inch squares. And I could also make these opposite colors too. Like I said, I needed 14 of the pink. So the yellow could the go in the pink spots and the pink could go in the yellow area as color A or color B. Again, I'm just gonna throw my scraps aside. I'll do something with all that later. So here's the chart. I don't know how well you guys are gonna see that. So there's eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah, there's not even enough of that. So it's definitely gonna just replace the pink with that corner piece. So I only need, I'll have one square left over of that, but that's fine. Now let's subcut some pink. Again, if you're curious about this color, it's called Lipstick. It's a Waverly brand, and this was the buy by the Bolt yardage that Walmart did have for a very long time until the coronavirus hit, and then it wasn't available by the yard or by the Bolt anymore. So, which kind of sucks because I buy my solids by the Bolt. But that's okay. I will live. It comments in just a second. Let me just get this all cut because I see the highlight on the screen. Okay, mm. <clears throat> saw that. Watched my paper piecing. Wants to try it. So easy too. I already said that though. Um, there are everyone's congratulations. Can message me on Facebook too. Everyone's saying congrats. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I gained 100 new subs since I posted the giveaway video. Awesome, Teresa. That is great. And Teresa, you can put your link to your channel in the description below for anybody that's new. Um, and any anybody else that has a channel, just let Teresa know because she'll put the link in for you unless you're one of my moderators and can put your own link in. Um, today I am making the Carpenter's her carpenter wheel, but I think I said that twice now. <laughs> hi, Delilah. Um, hi, Paula. Our Walmart is going to mostly one yard cuts. It sucks so bad. So this is what I'm making again. You guys can see it's carpenter wheel or carpenter star. I have a bazillion of these drawn up. I just fill them in with color as I'm going um, because I'm not going to take my 10 inch square and sew on, you know, draw the line in the center and sew on both sides. I'm actually going to choose by cutting them in half and choose which piece I want to go where. That way I know for 100% for a fact that the matching side of this will end up on the matching side of this, if that makes any sense. So I will go through this and number all my pieces. I know it seems like an extra step, but I'm kind of being anal about this one or OCD or however you want to say it. Um, because I want it all to be just right. So I'm getting two layers of um, 
and then I'll pull the fabric back to cut one more strip for 10 inch strip wise. So here's two layers already and then I'm going to fold this out of the way to cut one more off. So if I'm at 15, we want 25. Line it, line it up. That way, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just put these in the corner. I should have just left it on the chart too. I did write the color there to start with. I'm not going to cut my nine and a half inch strips yet. I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'll do that in a second. Tip that back up so I can see. Oh, no problem, Teresa. I support everybody's channel. I'm a YouTube channel supporter. Let me tell you. Anybody that's a newbie and wants to get into it, I've been doing this for four years and I'm barely where I am now. So I can only imagine what everybody feels when they don't have subscribers since I have some and you do the same thing as me, I'm pretty sure they'll come watch you. All right, let me cut the salvage off. Doing all three, well, six layers now at once. And then we're going to come over to 20. And this should give me plenty of 10 inch squares for now to go all the way around. And let's go to 30. And I use the mat and not my ruler. I mean, it's on some things when the ruler is facing this way. But 90% of the time I use ruler for cuts. As you guys know, I'll line it up on the ruler. But if it's bigger than the ruler, then it's harder to do. All right, so what I'm going to do is keep the camera facing down so that you guys can see. These don't matter. This is just A and B. So this is like color. According to my chart, that's color A and this is color B. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with my chart except for the four corners right here for my solid pieces since there's not enough. Hi, Jim. I think we're getting supper. Hi, Shirley. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do is up. And I have 42 squares here, but what I want to do is close my blade. And where are my little stickies? Should have got those out first. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm out of the frame for a second. I need my little sticky dots. Got those from the 99 cent store. So since these are going to be split in half, right, so I'm going to be cutting them on the diagonal instead of drawing a line on the back and sewing on both sides, I'm actually going to just cut them on the diagonal. So I want a sticky note um, on each side. And usually I don't use stuff like this, but like I said, I'm being anal or OCD about this and I want it to be just right and land in the right spot. It shouldn't take too long, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to number, so all these are numbered. So say I wanted 23 is going to go right here. So whatever piece would be 23. So I'm going to make sure I pull different colors for every one. So I'm going to find my number one and I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be my number one piece. So I'm going to actually do two number one pieces. That way one can go on this side and one can go on this side. And since this pack has doubles in it, I'm going to move the doubles out of the way because I don't want any of those to end up next to each other and then I'll pull them back in as needed. So we're on number two. So let's do this color is number two and again I'm going to be cutting it on the diagonal so I want my little number not to get lost because sometimes things get lost. We're going to put number two on this one on both sides. All right color three let's find something to be color three. I really don't want it to be the same orange. So we're going to go down and pull from this dark blue. I'm going to call this color three. Put my little color three sticker on here. 
And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm just going to pull and cut as I go. So now I can put another orange because it's not next to the same color. So now let's do color four. I know this seems like it's going to take forever, but it shouldn't take forever. It should take halfway forever. <laughs> nah, once I get started sewing and cutting, I should be good. All right, where am I at? Color five. So let's pull a different one. Let's pull. No, that's four. I don't want four next to the same kind of print. All right, let's put this one in as five. And I'm just using all of my sticky dots, no matter what color they are, because they really don't matter. All right, and six. Let's pull another one for six. And the reason why I'm using a Sharpie is so that I can even see these, because a pen doesn't really work on these little sticky dots very well. I mean, it does, but it's not very seeable. And seven. Let's make it this one. And I need to make sure eight is a totally different color because eight will sit next to color one. So this is seven. Again, I found these little sticky dots at the dollar store or 99 cent store or wherever. Color one is a light blue, so it doesn't really matter. I don't want the same print next to, so let's put a darker, let's do this one. All right, so this will be color eight. Okay. Again, I'm doing this totally different than anybody else sewing my half square triangles. I know, I know, I know. Um, let's see. Paula Lee, subscribe to Teresa. Thanks for the hookup. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Now I have all eight of my centers chosen, right? Now, obviously, we know this is going to be. B and this is A, but I'm replacing this A right here for a B because I didn't have enough of the yellow. Okay, so I'm just going to mark that out now before I get too far. So now I need nine. Where did my nine start? Right there. So we're going to start nine. I don't want the same color as close to A, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to start from the beginning again. So we're going to make this nine. I should just write like on all these and then put them on. And now let's make this color 10. Even my little drawing shows this as an orange. How's everybody doing today while I'm numbering these? 12, 13, 14, 15. Next. <laughs> so that my marker doesn't dry out. Let's put this one as 11. Let's put this one as 12. Just putting it on both sides. Hoping these don't fall off. They never really have on the, in the past. Let's do 13. As long as they're pushed down on there. Let's do 14. A darker. This one's fine. As long as they all match up. Binding a quilt, a quilted for a regular sewing machine feel like an accomplishment. Awesome, Marlene. <clears throat> you can anybody can quilt a regular quilt on a regular sewing machine. Kim does not have a channel, Lisa. Robbie says you look on Paula is trying not to stick everything so I can finish a quilt. Uh, I've been a flare up a couple of days. I think I'm starting to come out of, but I hope. I hope doing okay. <clears throat> All right, where am I at? 
14, <clears throat> 15. Let's make it this one. All right. <clears throat> More paper being used. We're at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, <clears throat> 21, 22, 20, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. How many of you have to say the number out loud or you'll write something else down? <laughs> 30. And we're doing all the way up to 32. So let's do 31. And 32. Okay. And look at that. All of my numbers are now ready. All right. So next to that will be this one. So we're going to 16. And again, I will cut these in half when I get to them. I'm just going to go by my chart, pull my number I need, cut it, sew it, be done. <clears throat> and 17 can be this one. because some of these, we're not using all of the layer cake either. So some of these will be left over for whatever. Let's find this one. That's fine. Yeah, let's do this one. So it's 18. Let's go 18 is way up here. Let's do 19. No, those are too similar in color. 19. And then I'll be able to show you guys what two quilts in the same color line look like, but two different patterns. This is 20. Uh, I can get through it really quickly. I'll keep you in my prayers too. Hi, Kathleen. I am doing okay ish. <laughs> uh, Linda, yeah, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I say things out loud a bazillion times. Hi, Carol. I made a Carpenter Star two years ago. Very light paced. Uh, Lisa's just recording or just back and for my quilt I'm trying to choose border red white and blue my favorite design but we'll have fun with it thanks to tiffany and becca oh awesome lisa that's great let's find a different one let's get to this one right here i like this one a lot i really like this print i don't know why but this is going to be 21 This orange would be 22. And then we'll do this redder one is 23. Again, if you're just joining, I am numbering my pieces because I am not sewing them together on each side of the line. I'm actually just going to cut them and sew them. Unless I can, if I choose, no, I can't because that won't look, work right. That's right. Only on a couple of them. No, that won't because those don't match up again. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm cutting 23. Okay. Where are we at? 24. Let's go with this red. Let's use this dark blue for 25. And I'm putting two dots because I'm going to be cutting on the diagonal instead of sewing on the diagonal. So I want to keep my numbers on my pieces. 26 needs to be, it's too close to that one. Right? Yep. Nope. Nope. Let's do another 
this white one, although I'm not really fond of the white in the quilt. But we're going to do it anyway. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's only going to be two pieces of it. I won't add any more. Let's do 27. And it's one of the ones that I have a lot of. Let's do this one. throw this in again because I really like this one. <laughs> which ones I want to be my last ones. Okay, one and 32 will be. The rest of this I can use in the, um, I'm gonna do this one as 31. And last but not least, 32 can be this one. No, because that's not much contrast. We'll put that orange. How far back did I have that? Okay, that's pretty far back. Okay, so all 32 are now numbered. Now I just need to sit with my chart, put two pairs together, and start sewing. But first I'm going to cut my other ones in half. Put my little polka dotties away. Most people get these for like yard sales and stuff, but who knew you can use them in quilting. All right, we're just gonna move that out of the way because I don't need it. All my pieces are cut and sitting right here. Now I need to start with the yellows because I'm gonna just work my way around. I need to pull one, that's one piece, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five. Okay, hold on, six, seven, eight. No, we're only cutting eight. Come on. I have a hair to brush real quick, guys. You can say hi. Come down there. They can see you right there. They know who you are, Triana. Ow. Ow. What is this? She's pool hair. What is this? That's Tiffy's new quilt. Ooh. Making that quilt. Wow, wow. it looks so amazing. Yeah. What did it say? Oh, they're saying hi to you, Triana. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. And remember, if you're new to my channel, there's always a kid popping in here and there. Except for the Insomniac series. They're this, never on the Insomniac the series. <laughs> Me too. All right. Okay, you're going to stay in here you can go out there? I'm staying here. Then close my door for me, please. Thank you. Here, take your brush to Sissy first. Sissy has to do her hair, huh? I'm going to brush my Okay. All of these need to be cut in half. I'm just going to start by cutting these in half. Let me line them back up because I kind of got them funky from uh, moving everything around. So this is my color A. And yes, I'm cutting this many layers right there, and then this right here. So let's grab this ruler because my other one is put away and I did not grab it out for this. Line this from corner to corner, and like I said, instead of drawing the line, I am just cutting the line. That way I can just grab as I need and go. So, and I also have to change the foot out on my sewing machine because I
Yeah. I can see you. You put that piece back down on top. Okay. And that one goes there. Okay, stop touching the camera, please. Come down, off, away, please, now. Thank you. <gasps> All right, and my pinks I will cut because I'm just going to probably Why make myself a quarter. And when I say make a quarter, I'm going to draw this on here real quick so you can see. So here's my picture of what I'm doing. If I'm only doing a quarter of the project, that means I am separating it right here and right here. And look at that. Something went wrong and my screen is messed up. I messed it up. Yep, you messed it up. You hit something. Okay, this screen is still working. That one's not. So that's what I mean by a quarter at a time. So I can start working on this side right here. And then I can work on this quarter and this quarter and that quarter. They're all going to be different. I'm going to be the quilting one. Yep, you're going to be the quilting one. I'm today and I'm going to make something in okay. the quilt. But anyways, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go by row, I guess. This is going to be... Okay, watch out, please. This is a... Hey, that One, was, two, that was not three, nice. four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these are getting cut in half. So I can just start sewing and grabbing pieces as needed. I probably should cut all my colors in half too. Let me say hello. Then say hello, but not in my way. How about that? Say hello, but not right here in Tiffy's way. Well, that's my one. Tiffy's gonna grab a smaller ruler for all this. What's a small ruler? This one is a smaller ruler. So I'm lining it up to corner to corner. I'm just gonna cut them at this point and just make a stack that I can grab from. So that was four, and I need eight altogether. more and the rest I can cut down to nine and a half inch squares because I was not counting to start with like a dummy and we don't have Scott reading obviously the comments right now because he's keeping the girls entertained well one of them because the other one will come in here a bazillion times all right and then these will be cut down there's my chart I'm going to cut some of these up. I'm just going to stack them up nicely. My numbers are st stuck to them, so as long as I find my number that I'm looking for, I can hook the two together. <laughs> so this will work just like this. I'm not worried. I'm just going to stack them up and then cut move out of my way and my numbers will be on each side so I can't get lost on which piece goes where because I'll just grab the two numbers I need and so so be the same as any other way you would be doing it by drawing the line just I'm pre-cutting it because it's making it seems more complicated but it's just going to make things easier for me to just grab and so Notice I'm picking up and stacking because my number one piece will be at the top. <laughs> Usually I do this by rows when I put it together and I just make it scrappy. Every other time I've done this, it's always been scrappy. There were one time, only one time I lined it up properly where I had the um, matching colors. This will be the second time then. Because usually I just throw color with color, solid with solid, so on and so forth. And now I'm actually putting them in a stack. And I'm probably missing comments, guys. Um, I'll look in two seconds. Let me stack some of these. It's, I have it way far away from me, so you guys get booby shots every time I lean forward. All right. Um, everyone said hi to Triana. Sorry, Teresa, can't to watch your channel. Um, okay, shiny day. Glad to see you. I've been at it. Did you rest today? Uh, no. <laughs> I've been um, up watching TV, hanging with the kids, hanging outside. I was not in the pool today, though. I have a stomach ache, so I don't go in the pool too much when they're bouncing around. 
um let's just say what size like uh 60 something no no hold on i gotta think about this it'll be 71 by 81 ish without borders i think somewhere around there oops i lost my 19. oh no it's there right there it's hiding i was gonna say what how did i lose that number um it'll be quite large anyone going to do the blocks with ll next 12 hour stream i'm not sure um i'll probably just watch and hang out It's very rare that I do the same project with everyone because I'm usually working on my own project uh, video wise, like doing my own thing since I'm a channel too. But sometimes I do things with other people. Like I did the block swap with T's channel and I did do videos on making them to make it a little easier. <clears throat> One second, Trina, I saw that. Can't find the block with what they say it says it comes up electronic it's like I said it come, I can't tell what that says hold on I have to bring it to my face I can't find the block with what they said it comes up elect oh you mean from the thing okay from LL's th I don't know then um isn't it posted on the the group the or I guess the online the group thing. I'm on that and still have yet to figure out how to use it. But then I don't sit on a computer either. I do everything by phone, so maybe that's why it makes it harder. So, but I'm pretty sure you can download it. I mean, from yesterday, I'm doing a little mini quilt next week on who is LL. LL is from Mom and Pop Quilt Shop, Laura Lynn, for anybody that's curious. Um, they're a YouTube channel also. Mm, gee, I'll be right back. Hi, Michelle. Oregon woman. Uh, Linda, if you need to know, I'm on top of stuff. Okay, that was answered. That was answered. Uh, very good. They're in Canada. Yes, they are in Canada. Um, do you all have video? My screen is black. That one would have to be refreshed if you're having that problem. I don't know why. Mine did it too. Mine just said something went wrong, but it was on the regular screen. Uh, thanks, and I'll then come back in. Go back. <laughs> they will have you laughing. Uh, check them out. It's called You Marry Many at Quarter Shop. You might, yeah, you might have to get the download that way, maybe. I like that fabric. Hi, Nita. Hi, BJ. Everyone's saying hi, hi, hi. I'm trying to stack and read comments. This is why sometimes I'm really glad when Scott comes in here and reads with me, but as soon as the girls leave, he's going to the grocery store. <laughs> But I'll still be working on this because I'm going to try to get it done. As soon as I stop chatting and actually start sewing, then I will probably get it done a lot faster than you guys think. This is actually a really quick quilt to put together. Like if you're trying to get something done and on, on the fly, you know, this is definitely one that is easy, <clears throat> especially if you just do it um, scrappy. I'm putting things in order, but if you want to just throw it in a scrappy manner, this is probably one of the fastest ones to build a quick quick, fast, big quilt, especially because it's bigger than lap size once it has borders on it. So I'm just stacking a few at a time and cutting them in half instead of drawing the line and sewing on both sides of the line. Again, for those that are just joining, that is what I am doing. Whew, I shouldn't have ate dinner before coming live. My belly is not happy. Every time I lean against my table because it's at my belly, it's like literally just making gurgling sounds. I'm glad my camera doesn't pick up, or the microphone doesn't pick up that sensitive of sounds. But you guys probably hear my belly gurgling if uh, if the sewing machine ain't running. Because <laughs> usually that's what covers up the gurgle sounds is the sewing machine. All right, all of everything is cut. Now I just need to grab a number and sew. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera back around, turn everything around, turn everything around. I also have to change the foot out on my machine because I want that perfect quarter inch seam because, well, I just need a perfect quarter inch seam. Also gonna let you guys face me. 
I'm going to finger press everything as well because it's easier for me. I have my little chart here and I have a pencil so that I can mark off what I've done. I'm going to bring my pieces close to me. Try not to hit the camera. Michelle's been in bed. Oh, Michelle. I'm sorry. I know probably why. Uh, let's grab this so I can put a new foot on. I also have no idea. I was fixing stuff for people because I seem to have taken a, a side thing on where it when I, it comes to alterations. Like I cannot sew clothes from start to finish, but I can alter clothing, like seriously, <laughs> and or fix broken clothing. That seems to be whatever. You have a sewing machine though. You can do it. I don't know how. And then yesterday I figured out how to do baseball pants. Yes, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. On Friday in the afternoon. Oh, well, look at that. There's an empty bobbin. Bam. So, yeah, I figured out how to do baseball pants. If I would have took them apart completely, I would have been able to. Uh... Holy moly, I have no bobbins. Um, I would have been able to make my own baseball pants. Looks like we need to roll some bobbins. So, I guess I can read comments, answer questions, or things like that while I'm rolling bobbins because I didn't have any white ones prepared. Kathleen's just trying small, not down a block, actually just encouraging to do it the same and take any help. Okay, so it's never done a block that small. Um, it's free to download on that Photoshop, yeah. Back now, thanks for checking on me. Everyone's saying hi, Jim's saying hi. Just in case anyone isn't sure, isn't sure next, 12 is next Saturday, she might even start earlier if she's up 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I think that's 4 a.m. Kelly, so yeah, I won't be up that early, definitely. Well, I will be, but I won't start a video and start watching that early. Um, anytime they come on, their time, um, they're usually done by 7 p.m. my time, so I never get a chance to watch the whole live stream because they're already a few hours in by the time I get on. But I at least come on and say hi to everybody. So the reason why there's a black line is that showing that that's the, a quarter of the quilt. I'm hoping the light isn't glaring too much off of that. Sorry. Let me see if that'll lean right there, sort of. And one more. Just so I've got plenty, just in case. <laughs> you guys know me, I'm always running out of a bobbin. Especially when I'm in the middle of something. All right. Once that is done, I'm going to go to my chart and start grabbing from wherever. So this is two color um, background carpenter wheel or carpenter star if you guys want to screenshot it i could also post a picture in the group later and you guys get the general for those that have never made one like i said i've been making these forever so this is one of my common go-to's because i like the star blocks and i like um simple easy piecing for quick stuff especially for gifts um makes it a lot easier to get it done. And you could totally do it in red, white, and blues because this is an old one from the railroad type uh, quilt thing. So if like this was hang hung up on something, it meant something. There was a reason for it. You can Google it if you want, but I don't remember the exact thing. I did look it up though, but the carpenter wheel or star. Um, it originally was called the Bethlehem star. 
but they changed it. I don't know if it was a religious thing or why, but whatever, it was changed. Is there a case of bobbins? Yes, there's a case of bobbins under here and right here. Some are like quilting, some are not um, specific colors. I just keep them separate and I used to keep track of what weight they were and so on, but obviously that didn't happen. All right, so I'm gonna be hooking a 16 to a B. So let's find 16 and hook it to 2 a B. 14, 15, and 16. So 16 is getting hooked to a B because I'm following my chart right here. So I'm going to put B right sides together on top of my 16 and I'm also going to lay all this onto the floor. Okay, somebody turned my machine down slower. <laughs> That's totally not my, not my speed. All right, so I'm just gonna finger press it lightly because I don't want to stretch it, it's on the bias. I'm just gonna finger press it lightly back towards the pink or my background color. So 16 is now hooked to the color B, which is this piece right here. So now I'm going to hook a B to 17. Again, I said, like I said, they're going to come out nine and a half. Or I can trim them to nine and a half because that's what it's going to be. So I guess I'm just going to lay row one right here in front of me. That way I know. So 17 and B. So let's find 17 is this one. goes to B. So we're going to hook 17 B. Make sure that 17 it is. Do you need anything at the grocery store, honey? No. You sure? Yeah. Do you want me to cook now? Do you want me to go later? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't show your hand, Mom. I'll be here for a while. Okay. I'll be back in an hour. Read comments for you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I love you. I love you. So I'm just finger pressing everything and then I'll just trim it all up later. I'm not in a hurry. I'm just going to get them all done because I'm not going in quarters. I'm just going to keep going in rows. And then I know that I do have to add my solids in there, obviously, but at least everything will be in order. So B with 18. So 18 with B. And I'm still going to keep my numbers on here also. So, you know, so when I press these before I trim them to nine and a half inches, then um, that way everything stays nice. My hair is everywhere. I'm saying when she goes on. Hi, Joanna. Just popped in to say hello. Well, hello. <laughs> um, I'm saying hi. Pumpkin and apple pie makes me want to bake. I'll be doing good to that fabric cut. Good fabric cut this week is probably what it's supposed to say. Saying hi, Scott. That's it. Need you to sub cut again. So, you to sub cut again. Sub cut what? What do I need to sub cut? 18. What is 18 going to be? So, B with 19. Let's pull 19 from this side right here. See how easy this is. So, 19 is going with B. And then I'll flip and turn them as I go after I make everything all nice and pretty lined up. And... Oh, hey, Because a lot of these are color to color, so I think 16 or 
20 something of them of color color or print to print however you want to say it if you hear something loud that's just the diesel scott started up the diesel outside all right so those two are done because now I have finished all the way up to this and these are later cuts anyway we're just trimming other stuff down for that right now I'm just piecing everything so now I need a hook 14 and 15 so I need a 14 and a 15 so here's 14 come to this side and grab the 15 oh that is so loud And 15 right there 14 and 15 look at how easy this is 14 is going with 15 right right I'm gonna look again make sure double check and sew together <laughs> oh. oh my god a little skippy right there on the edge of the third seam there we go <clears throat> Hi Barbara. How did you number your pieces with little um dots? They have numbers on them. All right, so 14 is with 15. I'm gonna take that out of the way. We got 15 with 16, so let's grab 15. And 16, which is this one, so 15 and 16. I put little dots on them. Let me check one more time. 15 goes with 16. Yep, and yep. So when I lay these out, they're going to make stars around the edges. Or diamonds, I should say. And I'm just pressing everything the same way because it really doesn't matter when I get to that part, honestly. I'm just going to be sewing blocks. There's no seams to really nest throughout this until you're nesting the seams of the blocks and the junctions. So we got 17 with A. So let's find 17. And if it's not in one pile, it'll be in the other. So 17 is going with a piece. So finally, we're now using lemon. So 17 with A. Make sure that's 17 one more time before I sew it. Line them up. Sew on down. Eighteen will be with an A also. So let's grab eighteen. Which is also going with an A. Yeah, I numbered my whole entire stack of everything. Like just to make it easier so that when I go to lay them out on the floor or wherever. It's easier to follow my guide. I'm actually purposely making this project line up with their corresponding colors instead of doing it scrappy like I normally would. Okay. And I haven't been checking these off, obviously. I'm just kind of looking at the number that I just did, 18. So now I need 19 with 20. So here's a 20. And here is a 19, somewhere around here. There we go, 19 with 20. And my little sticker should stay on everything, even through the pressing process, hopefully, when I take them over and press everything. And my sub cutting, or trimming, I should say. I could honestly, if all these blocks are coming out the same size because I'm using the same quarter inch foot, if they were all the size that they are now, which is like nine and one, 
Well, let me count that one, two, three, four eighths. I mean, if they're all coming out nine and four eighths, then I could leave them if they were all exactly the same. Um, I have done that before because there's, uh, I don't know, no reason. <laughs> I just done it before. Uh, where are we? 20. 19 and 20 are together now. So now we need 20 and 21. There's 20. And grab from this next one with 21. This is making it easier though to get it done. Hopefully it doesn't take that long once I get past this. And I could probably change these all this through. It would probably be smarter, but be smarter and not work harder. I could start doing that and then cut them all off in order. All right, now uh, that ends with the B piece. So now we're going to go with a B and a 13. So my B color. And 13. 13 is this one. And I'm actually just pulling from both sides of my little pile. It really doesn't matter. I'm just grabbing. They're not going to line up like they're supposed to anyway. Did I freeze or did that screen freeze only? Nope, that's still good. All right. For those that are just I'm making the carpenter wheel or carpenter star, however you want to call it, I'm putting mine in order. Okay, I saw that, saw that, everyone's saying hi, saw that, saw that. Hi, Billy, you're not late. Uh, which way are you pressing with your, I'm just pressing everything just out of the way. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I already said how I numbered my pieces with little polka dotties thingies with the, the Sharpie, wrote on those and then wrote it on. Have you seen the mirror mirror that Don Jordan created? It was, wasn't to do that too. Um, I can make it look so easy. I saw that, I saw that. Sorry, Tip. I was asking if it, it, if it or are there more sub cuts on the squares that you're doing now? It looks so very easy. No, there's nothing else. After it's just trimming the blocks to size. All right, so I just did, hold on, that was 13. Okay, let's just say I'm done with this row for now. Now I'm on this row right here. 13 and B. So now I'm on 13 and 14. So let's find 13 and 14, which will probably be both right here. So here's 14. And 13. Right sides together. Yep, this is all I'm doing, just sewing them together in a specific order. I didn't feel like drawing a line on the squares and then sewing on each side of the line and then cutting them because I wanted everything to end up in a certain order. So I made sure that's how it's gonna work out. Because if I would have sewn 13 to 14, all of my pieces that are like this, I would have had a secondary piece doing that way. Where would it have went? You get where I'm going. It wouldn't have been where I wanted it to end up. You know what I mean? So it turned out scrappy. So that's why I just go ahead and do what I'm doing here. All right. So I did 13 to 14. So the next one is a solid. So now we need a two and a. So we need an a and a two. And again, this quilt is being made with the same fabric line that my, um, uh, cake plate pattern that I just put out is made, made with. 
So you'll get to see what two different quilt patterns look like in the same fabric line, which would be kind of cool. Um, some people always wonder um, what does the same uh, quilt pattern look like with two different lines. Well, this is the same line, but two different patterns instead, because I've done the one pattern, two different fabric lines, and it looks the same, honestly. But this is two different quilt fabric lines, same colors, all the same colors throughout. So that was A with two, so now we need A with three. So this is A. And we need piece three. All right, A with three, yep, that's how it works. So essentially I'm making nine and a half inch squares because I'm gonna press them flat and then trim them. Because I don't have a um, half square triangle big enough for, nope, for nine and a half, so. And I'm just pressing them whatever way. They're just all going whatever, away from me while sitting here. Okay, so that's a blank. So we need 21 and 22. So again, I'm just gonna look for 21. Twenty one looks funny when you put a line under that. Twenty one looks funny because of the two. It looks like a twelve. All right, so we need a twenty one. And twenty two. And twenty two. Just Come on, 22. And the next one after that is 22 and B. Hi, Kathy. Oh, she's saying hello to everyone coming on. Okay. Hi, Tammy. From Texas. Wonderful. All right, so 21 and 22. Now let's do 22 and... So 22 is this one. And B is this one. Again, instead of drawing the line, I'm just sewing these together in a numbered order. Making it easy for me to do. I have 79 of you here with me today. Wow, that is so wonderful. I'm glad you can join me today for Sew Sunday. All right, now let's go on to the next, which is B and 12. So let's find piece 12. No, that's not 21. Let's find 12 for some reason. 12 and 21 look the same because of the way I write. Um, 12 is not on this side. I gotta make sure my 21's match now because for some strange reason. Let me go back up real quick. My 20, that's both 22. Let me see, that's three. What is this one? Two. 13, 13, 20. Because there's no 12s up there, so this is definitely 21. 
this piece. This is 21. Okay. So let's go back to where I marked it. definitely 21 because that matches this one. Yep. Okay. No, it doesn't. What am I thinking? I just confused myself, guys. Sorry for two seconds. That's 21. Where's the other one? 21 hooks to 20? Yes. So that is 21. So that would make that 20. So where did that go? That would make that 12. Having issues here. That's 12 and that's 21. My 12 and 21 look exactly the same because of the way I write. So let's see. We don't have a 12 on this side. Let's see if this is 12 right here. I'm going to count down. Twelve. Twelve and twenty one look exactly the same. Twenty one and twenty two. Twenty two and twenty one. So that is now twenty one. I just royally screwed myself up, guys. We'll find it one more time and make sure. Can you believe that? I'm trying to keep things in order. 21. I'm going to remark this real quick because that's a mess up. Where did I put my little papers? Maybe I should learn how to write better. If 21 is hooked to 22, that makes this piece 21. a line under it so that I know that that's 21. And I already used a 21 because 20 and 21 hooked together. So that was probably 12. Right? 21 and 22 hooked together. And then 20 and 21 hooked together. So let's find that other one. 20 and 21. So this was 12. Okay. So that actually is 12. One, two, put a line under it. That was 11. That's 12. Okay. Give me two seconds guys. And this will be 21 because I wrote it wrong. Because of my wonderful, beautiful, not so pretty handwriting. <clears throat> Here I go trying to write like that again. 21. Put 21 on there because 21 now matches this. 22. There we go. 21. Aha. Put a line under it so that I know that that's the two. <laughs> okay. So now I just messed it up by using that other piece, right? That was ended with 22 and B. The next one starts with B and 12. So this is 12 and B. And then there's gonna be a 12 and A. So I need to find the other 12, which is another white. Which is not in here. Or did I mismark that as well? It's not 20. 22 is supposed to be 21. So this is actually piece 12. 
I knew it. I couldn't find it. That's where it was. So this will be 12. I'm going to rip this off of here. Because that's not going with that. Change it out to make this the 21, because that's what it's supposed to be. That's my own fault for not writing properly. Sorry about that, folks. I need to learn how to write better, I guess, instead of hurry writing. Try not to stretch this too much because it is the bias that I'm ripping this from. Okay, so 22 was supposed to be 21. So let's re grab 21, which is this one, and sew it to this instead. Look at that. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> and then we'll put the 12s where they go. My 31 doesn't look like 13. <laughs> All right, 21. This one's back. How many pieces? Underneath this. Okay, there we go. Back where it goes. Now 12 gets hooked to a B and to an A. So one of these goes with one of these, and one of these goes with one of those. It's 12 with a B, and 12 with an A. There we go. Let's get me back on track. One piece will go next with a A. So next is a one with an A, which is my yellow color. At least I'm not confusing those. So one with an A. What's everybody doing? Just watching me be confused? All right, now that I've finished that, let's put these little labels back away. Inside. Now a one goes with a two. Two and then three with four comes after this. Oh my goodness, come on. So I'm making big Q test for triangles. And then one with two. Okay, so now I'm at three with four. Three and four. Four with A, All right, four with A. I'm glad I put my little number stickers on here. At least help me figure out my mess up. 
or I'd be really messed up. And I would just be throwing it together scrappy, <laughs> like I've always done. A, A with 23. Let's find 23 somewhere in here. 25, 24, 23. 23, and then B with 23 also. So let's grab 23 out to do it with the next one also. Back to having fun. That's what it is. <laughs> this is the part I enjoy besides the messing up. Enjoy the creativity. All right, so I'm just going to finger press these for now and put them up in my pile. Notice I'm unhooking them in order. And then I'll just finger press everything for now. It doesn't really matter which way. And this one has some threads in it from unpicking, but those will come out. I pick all that stuff out at the quilting process anyway. So I'm just gonna finger press. I think my chats are messed up or something because something's wrong with my video. I might not be getting comments, guys. Hold on a second. I don't know what's wrong with the video. I'm going to have to restart the tablet one. Let's just cut that off and open it back up because it's not working. Oh, my God. There's a lot of comments. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. All right. I was somewhere where there, it said something about Texas. Mm. Da -da. Oh my goodness, we're so far. Okay, everyone said hi to Jill. I can't see comments beyond that, so if I missed you, I'm sorry. Um, I like the fabric. Did you say what it is? It's contemporary. It's a Tuesday morning um, layer cake from Tuesday morning. Oh, by the way, now I'm done with this row. It's called contemporary. Uh, Tuesday morning is out of fabric here where I live, so I'm going to assume it's out of fabric where everybody lives um, at the moment. So unfortunately, I don't know where else to get this line. It's very cute though, um, but I have no idea where it could get purchased at this time. It's just one of those things, you find it, you find it. Um, hi, Patricia, I have to go to the beginning, yeah. Um, what is our Guru Tiffany making tonight? I'm For those that are just joining, I'm making the Carpenter Star Carpenter Wheel. Um, I can't really tell you the exact name because it was changed for reasons unknown that I don't know. Uh, I just looked it up. It was originally called Bethlehem Star, and I started making these when I was a beginner, so, because these are, the, like, the really easiest ones to do. Except today, I'm put, trying to keep them in order, so that is why I have little numbers on everything. If you're just joining, I have little sticky numbers on all of it so that I can know which piece is gonna go where. I will press everything when I get to that point, just in order, and then I will trim it all down to nine and a half inches, cut my nine and a half inch squares for everywhere that it needs to fill, and then go on to the next um, step, So, which is putting it all together. All right, so we have B going with 11. B with 11. Let's find piece 11. All right, B is going with 11. And I'm probably going to take a minute to catch up. I'm just okay, that was answered. Sorry, I can't remember the exact name. Hi, Ray. Um, Kathleen, is there anything worth the extra time? 
Um, so do any of do you think it's worth the extra time and effort to do to use paper piecing for a log cabin? Eh, it could be. It's more accurate, um, I would say, because every piece is going to be the same exact as you're adding it, um, and then you're trimming away. It probably might be, but for accuracy purposes. But it also. A log cabin is one of the easier ones. I mean, if you're doing something that's really tiny, then yeah, I would say thing. If you're gonna do a little tiny block, a little log cabin block that maybe comes out four inches, which I have seen because they're made with little, I don't even know if they're one inch strips. I think they're like three quarter inch. I've seen little tiny, tiny, tiny ones. Um, 11 with A, let's find 11 on this side now. Eleven. With my piece A, but this is my carpenter wheel with two different background colors. Using up my fabric from the cake plate pattern. All right, A with eight. So A with piece eight. And then eight with seven. I'm little by little gonna change, check the comments while I sew. Get the sun a little bit faster. Mm, hi, Sarah. Is that gotta be a waste of time? Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sharon. Uh, are the color dots the same color on 12 and 21? They were yellow and red. They were mixed. The ones I even underlined, <laughs> they were wrong. It, it's because I don't write two. I just do it like this for two. And I do that on all of them. So if it was upside down, it reads the same way upside down as it did right side up. That's why I messed up. Um, my... Hi, Carol. Hi, Sharice. Uh, I like. Right like a duck, and I would. <laughs> All right, what did I just do? Now I'm confusing my own self. I did eight with a B, or I mean an A, so now I need seven and eight. So let's find seven right here, and eight right here. Probably be easier if all the colors were different for every single one, but unfortunately, my pack only had three different colors in it. That's okay. Okay, so now I'm hooking seven and eight now. Yes. Yep, seven and eight. And then for those that are just joining, I did cut all of my pieces on the diagonal first instead of drawing a line and sewing on both sides, then cutting in half because I want mine to lay a certain way. So that is why I'm doing all mine in order according to my little chart. And when I'm finished, if you are in the Facebook group below, I'll just take a picture of my dumb chart here and put it in if you guys want to do a two color one, just like I'm doing. It's scribbled on obviously, but at least there's a guideline to follow if you've never done the Carpenter Star. What was this, eight and seven? Yep, eight and seven. So now we need six and five. So here's a five and here is a six. Six and five. So I'm just sewing them a quarter inch as I would if it would have been one solid piece. I will trim them all down to um, nine and a half inches when I'm finished sewing them all together. So now I'm on five with A. I ran out of color, so my chart, my chart originally marks these four corners inside here as A, but I crossed them out and put B for my own personalness. And these were originally A out here, but they're gonna end up being B as well because I'm out of the yellow. So those will end up being the 
the pink color instead. All right, we just did five with A, so now we're doing A with 24. I feel like I'm playing bingo. A24. <laughs> Yeah, I'm playing bingo with my pieces. And 24 with B now. So let's grab my 24 and a B. Sew them together. I'm seriously slowly reading the comments, guys, as I go. Those asking questions. But I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing as I'm doing it this whole entire time. So now I'm done with this row. So make sure that I'm marking these. So now let's go to that one. <clears throat> And I'm also finger pressing, but I'm going to press with the iron. Just having them finger press, I guess, makes it a little bit easier until I get to the iron now. But the ironing part should go fast. And I'm not stretching these or yanking on them because they are on the bias. I'm just kind of finger pressing them out of the way, stacking them in my pile. Just making sure that seam is opened up pretty much and folded back. Okay, I saw that. She's saying hi. Awesome, Brenda. I'm on vacation. Wow, that's fun. Where are you vacationing? Let's see. There might be an answer because I'm way far up. I think I'll pull fabrics to start your Hunter Star pattern tip. Oh, awesome. That'll be fun. I want to do it again. I, I've been saying it and saying it and saying it for years on this channel that I'm going to do my Hunter Star again. Um, it's just having the right layer cake to do it. I don't know what, I have purples. I have a, a, a layer cake with purples and grays. I'm kind of wondering if that would look pretty cool with white as my background, but I'm not sure because the purples and grays are on the lighter side. It's one of those things like I really want the right colors. I kind of want to do it in batiks. Last time I did it with a yellow background. I think it would be kind of awesome in batiks with a black because you guys know me. I love using bright batiks with black backgrounds. But I am out of black and probably will be for a while thanks to the coronavirus. <sighs> so, yeah. For now, I just do with what I got. So that's where this stuff comes in. Using the rest of certain fabrics for certain projects. Alright, now I'm on this row. So B with a 10. So here's my B and a piece 10 because I'm on this row right here. 10. Let's find a 10. Here's a 10. So B with a 10. Come on, get in there. All right, so now I need a 10 with a nine. So let's find 10 and a nine. My six probably, oh good, my six does not look like a nine. Thank God. <laughs> my nine actually looks like a nine. I write so horribly. And so it's with me with sewing. Hi, Tammy. I'm just popped in to say hi. It's Shark Week. I'm trying to watch as much as I can. I'll give a thumbs up and watch the replay. That's fine. You're probably gone by now anyway because I'm so far up. Uh, you're vacationing to your sewing room, Brenda. Now that is, that's my sort of vacation. Um, except I, I'll just go jump in the pool as needed. All right. So I just did nine and ten. Now I need. That's a blank, so now seven and A. So let's grab a seven and an A. 
notice it doesn't matter what side of the triangle I'm actually grabbing from because it's not going to matter. It's all getting trimmed. It's all both sides either way. As long as the right sides together. And the reason why I'm taking my time right now is because I'm trying to catch up on the comments getting to the bottom. This is time for popcorn. Too tired to sew. <laughs> Um, I'm saying hello. Let's see, I just woke up. Should we still be up all night? Um, okay, so his name, dancer, said she was me too back when we used to meet. All of a sudden, I hear da da da. And <laughs> just enjoyed it. Uh, hi, Leanne. Better late than never. You're not late. I'm really pretty much just starting. Let's see. I mean, I mean, started for a while, but okay. So I just did seven. And A. So now I need A and six. So there's six and A. Right? Yep, six and A. Line them up. Trying to read comments and go. This is where sometimes I wish Scott would go to the grocery store at a different time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll be here in time to read comments for me though. So there's six and A. Then the next piece is, where am I at? Six and A. So that one's a blank. That's going to be B when I get to it. So 26 and 25 are going to go together now. So let's find 25 and 26. Wait, where is this other nine going to go? Where's it? Oh, it goes in the next row. Okay, look at that. At least I don't feel like I got something wrong. All right, let's hook these two together. So this is, where am I at? 26 and 25. And then the next is 25 and a B. Twenty-five and a B. Oh, it's your sign, I'm clever. It's always so good. Oh, I'm not there yet. Oh no, no, no. I'm I'm only quick because I need to be. You guys make me have to be quick. I can tell you this though. I spent only four and a half hours in total of filming. And that's the pausing and stopping and pausing and starting and re whatever. And in between ironing, I only spent four and a half hours on my cake plate video. And then I spent another four and a half hours editing it. But the fact of the matter is you guys can do that. And um, I got wind that another video was out while well, Missouri Star posted a video of their newest ruler. Now, if you don't want to use a plate and you want to actually use a template, that newest circle template would work. But I think. I think the plate was bigger than 10 inches. I think the plate was like 10 point something when I measured it, my plate for my video. But if you want to try yours with that, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a little bit more of a bottom oval if you want to try, but the template might work. I'm going to have to like investigate that one because that template's only nine and a half inches. I looked up on Missouri Star Company, the the ruler template itself for that new circle ruler for the video that they just posted. It was weird because I posted mine, a circle type quilt. And then like four hours later, theirs was posted. So I thought that was kind of weird. I guess quilters all think alike, you know, and it was just a day for circle -y quilts, but yeah. So the cake plate, I would say do it with a plate because your plate is free and the ruler is 1995 and i'm not really quite sure if that ruler is going to work because of the size measurement wise but i mean it's up to you if you want to try it so i just did 25 and b if, if that makes any sense to anybody by the way but yeah that took me four and a half hours to do that's it that's there's not much work in that one um so it's one of it add to one of those when you start with a layer cake a jelly roll uh, charm squares any of that it usually means faster because the start of your pieces are already the size you need so there's no extra cutting involved you know what i mean so that's how everything gets done so fast i guess when you guys say i, I get things done fast well sometimes when i design things it's designed specifically for beginners or people who want 
a project that they can just get done and get gifted as soon as possible. Because if I would have had another, you know, two hours, if I had my long arm set up, I could have quilted that and gifted it all in one day. If that makes any sense, it could have been done pieced, quilted and bound in one day and out the door. If, if that's the kind of, you know, I mean, and I still have to take my time to show you guys during the video, this is what I'm doing and so on. So I'm still taking my time at the same time as explaining. So, I mean, you can cut some of that time off if you think about it, but I took a lot of the ironing out. So that's where the whole total four and a half hours was because I took all the ironing out. I didn't think you guys wanted to watch me iron through a whole video. So I actually took it all out except for how to press the blocks in the first place. All right, nine and 32. So this is nine. And now we need 32, which is gonna be that last bottom piece, right? Right. So yeah, just so you guys know that that was done that can be done with the Missouri Star template, I think. Don't quote me, but I think. For those of you who do not want to use a plate because your plates are too slippery or something. We have a couple different kinds of plates here, and they were all that same big size. So I just didn't measure them all. But there are bigger than 10 inches, which is what the, the Missouri Star one lacks, and I don't think it's going to work because of that all right so that's done uh, 32 and 31 so i just did 32 so here's 32 and 31 at least 31 didn't get misconstrued as 13. <laughs> myself up that I wrote so sloppy that I couldn't even see my own numbers and got it a little bit messed up but that's okay all right 30 and a let's find 30 and a and it sounds like Scott oops I need to cut one more block how was I off one I need to cut one more. Let me go. Yes, I do. Um, 30 with A. No, I don't. 29 with A. I am correct. 29 with A. This was the last of these. Okay. I got it correct. It's the B one that I'm thinking, my goodness, my brain is going 100 miles an hour. And now I need 28 and 27 together. Let's put these over there first. We're going to get that was 29. Okay. okay. I'm on the right row. I'm on the second to last row. Almost done. So now I need 28 and 27. 28 and 27. Right sides together. I'm probably confusing you guys using all my numbers. You'll get what I'm doing in short amount of time now. And then 27 and 26 go together. And so we got 26 and 27 that going together. And then that ends with a B. And then we're on to the next row which is the last of the piece thing, because they are all getting the pinks. Let's see 
Y'all gotta go. 2.27 a.m. Okay, good night. Um, make songs better. Maybe mowing my sister not mowing my yard. I have buying six quilts for her. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. All right, 26 and 27 are together. Now we're on the next row. All right, so let's go to that last row. So those, okay, we got 31 MB, so let's find 31 MB. Almost done, guys, and then we can plug the iron in and start that, which we're going to get started. Okay, and then B and 30 is the next one. Does it say 30? Yes, it does. B and 30. And... Oops, it'd be best if it was lined up best as possible. And twenty nine and B I'm going in order and then it goes twenty eight and B and then the last ones are the pink squares at the ends. And these are the last two. And then that means I'm almost done, guys, because all I have to do is sew the rows together. After a trim, of course, and press. But they're mostly pressed. They're mostly pressed already, so that's what makes this easiest because they're mostly finger pressed back. So. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Robbie's on vacation at Kim's house. Are you guys watching each from a different device, Robbie? <laughs> you and Kim. Uh, saying what I'm doing. I finished lining on some quilt. Um, let's see. Made some for underground railroad quilts. Um, Terry. Hi, Terry. Let's see who else is. And then when I came on, hi, not him. <laughs> Ever use a lint roller? Yes. Uh, I don't like tearing off the, trying to find the ends of the paper for the lint roller, but yes, I do use them. Um, our Tuesday morning doesn't carry fabric. Oh, really? That sucks. Hi, Debbie. Uh, Brenda's celebrating. Finishes swap Margaret Lowen's free spirit. Out of the star. Took two and a half years. Oh, my goodness. That's a long time. Um, then Marlene's doing quilt blocks for a jelly bar, jelly roll, snowflake, and going on picnic quilts. You guys, all these quilts that you guys are doing, you should be posting pictures of in the group. And if you're not in the group, please join it. It's in the link below. So you guys can post. It always helps me keep up with the things that you are, you guys are doing. And it gives me inspiration for other stuff. Um, hi, Diane. No, you're not late. I'm still going. <laughs> Glenn picked up a jelly roll from Tuesday morning for nineteen dollars, but the store, but the store does sell yardage. Hmm, interesting. Ours has yardage, but only like one yard cuts. Um, I'm also, I'm doing is also named the jelly bar. Okay, and then everyone's saying hi to Diane. The cabin blocks I plan to do are 9 or 12 inches. Yeah, I would do those regular, not paper piece. That just seems weird to do them by paper if they're so big, you know. Um, I'm going to start supper, but I'll keep listening. That's fine, Teresa. We're here. Um, i got to plug in the iron real quick. How big is it going to be? This is probably going to be, um, what did I say earlier? Like 80, no, 71 by 81, somewhere around there. I don't know. I'm not really a mathematician when it comes to this kind of stuff. I don't really actually know. <laughs> I do horrible math. And I'm over at the iron. Just give me a second. I'm going to try to read comments while I'm filling the iron with some water. Quilt bingo is a thing. Mm. 
Well, I like how you colored the paper to keep your pattern straight. Yes, I did. That way I wouldn't just get lost in numbers. That's why I did that. And for th those that are just joining, here's my, my pattern right here. You can see it just like that. It doesn't matter which way I hold it. The only reason why it has a black mark here is because that's what would happen if you were to piece it in quarter sections, which I am not doing. I'm just going to do by row. But I usually do it in quarter sections if I was doing it scrappy. That way I make four quarters and then put all of them together by turning one piece. Um, hi, Sue and Bob. Let's see. Let's see. Separator. The Hunter Star is what I want to do. Oh, yeah, try that. Um, Barbara's and my Diane been there mostly with my mom. I'm going to bring this up here with me and I'm going to turn you guys over toward. The ironing board. You guys can watch my little skinny butt. I'm actually going to tip it a little bit higher than my skinny butt though because I told you guys I'm shrinking down to nothing. So it makes it really weird and awkward that I'm so tiny right now. All right, let's see. Shari said good in fabric stores because people are sewing. And then one saying hi to every place is far from here. Bummer, I seen Juki Junkies did some solid fabrics. Lisa's tried Marshall Dry Goods, bought some not long ago. That's where I'm going to be starting to buy um, more different colors because Marshall Dry Goods is now doing buy the bolt for shipping. So, um, so yeah, all sorts. Okay. Uh, Quilted Twin says black. I also tried thousands of bolts. Yes, I've tried there, but I, the, I some of the fabrics is getting certain ones from certain places. I don't like the feel of it, so, or the texture on the fabric. I don't know why. Some people are picky about that, so am I. Uh, hi, Sylvia. Hi, Pam. Um, less quality. The quality at Marshall Dry Goods. The quality of Marshall Dry Goods is really good. I buy the backing fabric there. I usually don't buy front or piecing fabric from there. Usually just backing fabric, and they're really thick. It's very... Thick, good quality fabric. I don't know how to explain it. It's it's tightly woven. It it's definitely nice quality fabric, but it's not stiff or anything either. It still has looseness to it. Um, so far, at least the last six bolts now that I bought, it's been really nice. And then I bought yardage. <clears throat> that way, I didn't have to buy a bolt of that one color because I knew I wasn't going to use it on anything else. So I've never had a problem with their bolts. Um, let's see. Sharon, you just turn work on the background. Mom is 97. What time happens? She was serious. Went to the ER at 10 p.m. Boy, that's a lot. Only to find out it was a UTI. Hey, UTIs are bad. Uh, hi, Doris. Mm, I'm going to just like scan through this, Tiffany. Do you think your circle pattern would work with a charm pack and a smaller plate? <laughs> I knew that was going to get something that would get asked. That was my plan for the next video was the charm pack with a, um, a teacup plate. Okay. That was going to be my next one, but you guys can do it yourself. Obviously. Yeah. That was one of my ideas. I was going to go from big to small, so it will work with a tea plate. Yes. The little, little, little tea or coffee plate or whatever it's called. Yes. Um, wow. You did that quick. Now I gotta lay it out, obviously. Yeah, for obvious, yes, we're both on our phones. Maybe mom pre graduates. Oh, I have 91 of you here. Wow, that's awesome. Um, remember to give me a thumbs up. Watched a full panel for UFOs. Yeah, they both make it a good pilot of getting thumbs up when I first come on. That way I don't forget. Oh, yeah, that works too. That's how I do it. Um, love the backing fabric for garments made with less tops. All right, guys, I've caught up on the comments. So now, I'm going to go ahead and now that they're finger pressed, it's so much easier to just lay them back and whatever way I have them going, try to keep them that way. I'm not pressing the whole block, I'm just laying down my seams. The camera's on this. Right yeah. here. So and I'm here to read them for you. Do you not want me to read? You can read. It's right there. Okay. I love you. I love you. You can take it over there, though. I'm going to take it over there, so I'm not in your way. I don't want to be eaten. I'm trying to keep my right. numbers in order as well while I do this. So I'm just keeping everything in, in order still. I saw that flipping. 
Did you stop in any particular no, spot? No, I, I kind of scanned through some of them because they started coming through real fast and I was stuck up at the top. Oh, I pressed this way, that's why. I don't remember. I really don't care which way they're pressed as long as the block is flat. Oh, Jill is looking forward to your charm pack circle quilt. Yes. I just told them what I just did, I'm going to do smaller. So as soon as I get a chance, I need more backing fabrics and out of backing fabrics. So like I said, Walmart has nothing and I don't have the money right now to order from any other company at this time. So did everyone know. get their prize from last week I was sent out? Did you guys come uh, no, I'm missing three people didn't send me their email. No, I'm talking the people that we sent it out to. Did they get their Oh, block? I don't know. Whoever got blocks from last Sunday, or was it last Sunday? Or the Sunday yes, before? it was last Sunday. Did you guys all get your blocks from last Sunday? Yeah, we sent out a bunch on Monday. Just wondering if anyone got them. Hello, everybody. They're all saying hi to me. I don't like that this iron does not stay hot long enough. That's my only hated downfall of this iron. Earlier they were saying you were very quick. Oh, this is not quick. This is actually going to take me my time, almost. i got to trim all these still to nine and a half inches. But they're finger pressed, so that's what makes it go quicker. And then I still have to trim all my background pieces to nine and a half inches as well. That's what's taking so long is the fact that I gotta press these flat so that all these people said they didn't get their block yet. What the world? They said I mailed them on Monday, they said they should have been there by Friday. I don't know that. Yours was mailed, Diane. Yours was mailed quilting for the soul that's uh Sarah, Sarah yes, yours was mailed. June Hansen, I don't remember your No, name Sarah's or... wasn't mailed. Here's her thing. The ones that didn't get mailed because I didn't get an email was Sarah, Kathleen Champ, and June Hansen. Those oh. are the three that didn't get Well, June, anything. that's why you didn't get yours. We yeah, didn't get you, your I didn't address. never get the addresses from those three people. That's and Sarah, why. I thought we got yours, but I'm sorry. Apparently, we didn't. Yeah. But Diane, I know yours was mailed. The ones I didn't get addresses for didn't get mailed out because I didn't have an address to send them to. And I don't know how else to get a hold of you guys on, besides on Facebook. That I don't know if everybody's in the group. Sorry that I don't pay attention to that. <laughs> I should, but I don't. Okay, Lisa said she received hers and Nita received hers. Oh, okay. So some did get where they were supposed to go. Teresa Louise didn't get hers. Mm -hmm. That's because Teresa's is right here, actually, in an envelope. Okay, well, you. Teresa, yours is going on Monday, tomorrow. Yeah, yours is going out soon. So those are the last three of you. And I'll be making more blocks again soon. Just let me get this actually made first. Sarah said she sent an email, but she says she's going to send it again. Yeah, that would be nice because I... Kathleen's asking what the email is. She hasn't been well and she spaced it. It's in the description below. If you don't know where that is, I will show you. On every single device, you click off on this this little arrow directly below the video sorry about the lighting in the background you click on that it gives you the description below that has my email address it's tiffany underscore graph underscore quilting underscore designs at yahoo.com i know it's a lot to add but that's what it is and then the links to all the groups my instagram my facebook page my gofundme which is fixed because we had some questions about why it wasn't working so it should be a fixed link and then my address and everything it's always in the description below every single video yes some people were asking last week about the gofundme later on after the episode so we tried to fix that you guys don't have to send us money but for those of you that want to it will hopefully be fixed yeah. If not, well then, I'm not we'll keep computer. working on it. <laughs> I'm not really good with computers, so and Scott isn't as good as the same as me. We're both equally stupid on computers, so and the problems couldn't be fixed from a cell phone or a tablet. I had to do it from the computer to fix the YouTube itself. So 
I'm hoping that the link is perfect. I clicked on it like six different times and it took me straight to it. So I had to fix the group before too. And I clicked on it and it should be good because people still join the group. So I'm pretty sure my links are working every time I do that. I'm just, yeah. So if you guys send me an email to that, the, the Kathleen, Sarah, and June Hansen, um, then I can, because I have your envelopes right here. I just never got anything mailed Sarah out. says she sent it again. Hopefully we will have it. Yeah. I'll check after the video because I don't have email on the tablet. It's on my cell phone, which you guys are on. If it vibrates, then you know it went through because you'll hear vroom, vroom. <laughs> I forgot to turn the sound off the phone. <laughs> so you guys get to hear anytime I get a message or a phone call or anything. So this is 64 blocks, right? Is eight times eight 64? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm pressing 64 blocks and then I'll trim all 64 blocks and then we'll just throw them together because this shouldn't take long. Once I trim them, it should go pretty quick because I'm just going to go from one edge for the trimming. Yeah, June, you don't have to put your address on here in the comments. You can yeah, just send it to us. Did she put it in the, in the comments or something? No, she says oh. she doesn't want to put the address. Oh, yeah. Or you Facebook, can email. You, if, if, you if you don't want to email, then go on Facebook. My page is private, but you can message me from the business page, which is also in the link below. I get all those messages, or you can message me on Facebook. I get them, but it goes to a spam folder because I have my page private purposely because I'm on YouTube. Um, so. so, yeah, June, on the Facebook one, yeah, just message her. Yeah, if you guys you want to message way. me that way instead of email, I know it's probably easier for some people. When I created my email, all the options were taken. Who, what other Tiffany Groff quilting designs there are, I don't know, but I wasn't allowed to use it because Yahoo said it was already in use. So weird, right? So weird. So, yeah. But you guys will all be get able sooner or later when I get myself back on track, everybody will get a chance to get a block from me. As Scott and I have the money to mail things off, I'll be able to make more blocks and send more blocks out for fun. So look forward to that in the future. Right now, I'm just... Well, those are pretty easy. Those were only 70 cents. <laughs> yeah. We know how much they cost to send now. So if it's only a couple dollars a week, then I don't think that'll be too bad. That way I can give a lot of people more chances to have something made by me. Okay. I'm waiting for this to warm back up. It just popped up. up a bunch of people asked to join your little group. Oh, for Facebook? Yeah. You just let me know. Don't worry about it now. We'll approve them. I'll approve all you guys when I'm off the I live know. stream. Scott doesn't know how to do it. Michelle, she's on here. She's uh, um, uh, the in the blue. You guys will see. Now I forgot the word for it, moderator. Ha, huh, there it is. <laughs> Michelle Poar is the moderator in here. Um, if I don't get it, she does. When it comes to approving. Teresa's making a wall hanging out of the block. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. When she gets it on. <laughs> and I can't show you which one you're going to get because it's already in an envelope. I just was grabbing and stuffing in envelopes. All right, a couple more to, to press, even though this iron does not like to eat off of this thing for longer than a minute at a time. It's the only downside to um, this iron, I say it in every video, is it's more meant for a, what's the word for it? No, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's meant for just one block at a time, not for consistent pressing like this. Because it's definitely not working for my need. Hello, Linda. Okay. Okay, Kathleen said it's sent. 
All right, I'm gonna take you guys over. We're gonna trim all these. Let's see how fast I can get these all trimmed. So I'm gonna turn. I'm you guys wiggled and shaked. Sorry. I'm gonna turn it down so you can watch me trim. Every oh man, the ruler I need to trim everything is what my thing is hooked to. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! What? what? This is the you. ruler I need to trim, so I need another okay, ruler. Okay, let's. We can easily figure that out. Okay, hold on, guys. You guys are going to shake for just here, a second. Here. What about this one? Get that to work. It's not quite as big, but it's close. Oh, come on. You're not shaking that much. It's fine. Sorry, guys, for this part. I have my phone was hooked to that ruler, which is the ruler I need. Here, here. I'll help you. <laughs> ah, it's funny. It's okay. Okay, there you guys go. Now you should be okay. still. Sarah sent her address now. Okay. She signed all the blocks, right, honey? Yes, I signed all the blocks. Three sets that she signed. Yep, she signed them all. I signed them all before putting them in envelopes. Before I even knew which ones were going where. All right, I'm taking all these to nine and a half. So I'm just going to pretty much be trimming all... I'm just going to line up on the one side that's already mostly trimmed. Turn it, line it, and cut. Nine and a half. Oops, that's my half right there. Come on, Tiffy. You can't be that dim. There we go. Nine and a half. I saw a little bit of a mess up right there. And there should be nothing there besides the dog ear. Don't right, worry, so, I'm not a technology person either. Facebook is paying for me. All these technology things are paying for me. Now I'm going to be laying all these back down in another order. Let's move that all out of the way. I'm just going to stick them all on here. Because now that's the top again. Alright, so let me get all these trimmed down to nine and a half inches. Some of them are going to be like right on we did a giveaway last week on So Sunday. We gave away a bunch of blocks. That this quote made. blocks, the blocks that I made in last week's video got given away in last week's video for So Sunday. Just for fun. I did not I knew that was going to happen. Sorry, guys. Oh, Sarah says hers isn't going for it. Just eat this. Facebook me then. Yeah, just send it to the Facebook then, Sarah. I think it's because this ruler is too small. Sorry, guys, Wait, about that. Again? This is not going to stay. Here, let me help. Sorry for all that bouncing around and sound. My. Stay. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall. I'm going to leave it just like that for now. Okay. If it falls again, I'm going to be mad. Is the sound thing in a good spot? Yeah, it's fine for now. All right, nine and a half. Did you use the 45 degree on your ruler? Barbara Baker asks. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to that. I'm just cutting. So if you're going to use your 45, do this. Line up that 45 on the line. I'm actually not even paying attention. I'm so used to trimming blocks that I just trim blocks, you know? Like some of these I'm barely having to cut anything off of. See? Like literally barely anything. I'm kind of just really used to this, so that's why I don't even matter if I use the 45 on the blocks or not. As long as I'm keeping them in order. Let's see, they're really close to nine and a half. So I should be able to get this done pretty quick if the ruler doesn't fall again. So see if you're going to do it the proper way. You'd be lining up the 45 degree, line up the nine and a half, line up the nine and a half. June's still having a hard time. She can't figure out how to give you her address. How about, um, June, are you in the group? Are you in the Facebook group? In the Facebook June? group? <laughs> you don't have to write it on there. No, you can delete that, June. Does she write the address? Write it yeah. down. Write it down real quick. Okay, but. And then she can delete it. How's can that? we delete that? Hurry up, write it quick. There's paper right there. You can use the whiteboard if you need. 
Scotty's going to do this. He's going to write it down and then we'll delete it for you. Or you can delete it either way. I do not have a pen. Because they are all dead, thanks to Triana. When does she use your pen? She scribbles on paper all the time in here. Oh, okay. So I'm keeping all these in order, guys, as you can tell. They're pretty much like spot on. I could have just pieced them together without trimming, honestly. But then that would be not correct for video sake. Yeah, I was going to say, IS is not a place. <laughs> Okay, I have it, June. You can delete that. She can delete it or you can delete it. Just hold down on it. Oh, I can delete it. Look at that. Hold down on it and then go to the delete message. Not remove user or timeout user or anything. If she doesn't retract it herself, you can retract it for her. Remove? Yeah. There. See how quick that was. Just says message deleted. See? There we go. Well, at least we got it now. I don't know why it's not letting some people email me. It's weird. What is the iron you're using? Do you like it? It is I the like Panasonic. Iron. What is it? Panasonic something cordless. Panasonic Max, I guess. What's the numbers? Oh, N I W L six hundred. N I W L six hundred. Yes, N. N-I-W-L-600. It is a cordless iron. The same one that you see Rob Appel use on man sewing. It was a gift from Teresa here. Teresa McBrayer. She's probably not in the chat right now unless she is, but she's under a different name. Um, I don't know what name. She, she'd probably be using her brother's or her son's or her dad's phone or somebody something. That's how she comes on sometimes. It was a gift from her and I like it, but I don't at the same time. I like it if I'm just doing one block, but if I got to continuously iron over and over and over again, I don't like it for that. Um, just like you saw, the continuous ironing of all these blocks. It doesn't stay hot for that whole time, so it is kind of, um, I almost chopped my finger off. You guys saw that. Okay, are the stickers going to leave residue after being ironed? No, nope, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They're cheesy dollar store stickers that fall off of everything else. So why wouldn't they just fall off my fabric when I'm done? If anything, I'm glad they're ironed to the fabric for now. <laughs> but I didn't touch them. If you guys saw, I only pretty much pressed the um, seam. If you were paying attention, I only pretty much did the seam. Okay, this block kind of came out a little on the washy question. side. I'm going to press this real quick. Unwonky it. Sometimes that happens because I sewed these on the bias instead of sewing and then cutting. Sometimes that happens. This could also be the block that was the 12 that I picked apart, <laughs> which it looks like that's what it was. It was the block that I picked, so it got a little messed up and wonky. Tiffany goes through a lot of irons. Yes, irons are the thing that I go through the most, honestly. I go through more irons than I do rotary blades. If you guys want the honest truth, <laughs> I didn't I really know do. irons were such a you know thing. I thought an iron would last forever, but no, they need constant cleaning and constant maintenance, and they're a pain. At least every iron that I've had are. As in the military, we had to iron our stuff, you know, every week, every well, it's supposed to be every day, but yeah, you do it at least once a week. If you know what you're doing, you can fold your clothes right, and it's good. But anyway, yeah, and I never had these issues. That Tiff has all kinds of issues with irons. I go through more irons than I do rotary blades. That's pretty sad to say, actually. That means I don't use my rotor blades as often, but you guys know I do because I'm constantly making a video. 
but my blades usually last forever. I've shared with you guys before which blades that I've used, and if you're curious, I'll send you a link. But this last set of blades, um, uh, I can only email you the link to because I couldn't find we couldn't find the receipt, only the place that we purchased it on on the recently purchased thing. So that just takes you to their Amazon affiliate, uh, their Amazon link or whatever. But I've had nothing but good, last, long-lasting blades. And these 60s are the same as my 45s. It was the same brand from the same company. I'm literally just shaving this fabric. That is all I'm doing. I have to do all of these pieces as quickly as I possibly can. I just want to stop shaving and sew them together. Well, Jill just got blades from where you suggested her. Good. How are they working out? Did you put one in already? Because they last pretty good to me. I've never Scott usually doesn't mind if I have to get something like a year later, but if it's like I mean, you know, like a year later, that's what I'm trying to say. If I have to order something six months later, then uh I'm not ordering it again, is what he'll say, because I just bought it. But no. I've bought these a year ago. Still the same price though, so. And I still had the package of 10. I bought a ton of them. So that they would last me, and definitely have been lasting me. They oh, lasted Kathleen, me. Kathleen would also like an email with the blade link. You have to send me an email first. Unless it's already, unless you already emailed me, it's the same one last, the other Kathleen, the yeah, that's so fine. Okay, yeah. Chance, so we should have her email? Yep. I will make sure that I give you link. <laughs> Jill hasn't changed the blade yet because she hasn't started on anything. Oh. Uh, get started on something. Come on. Right. Bonnie Hunter only uses old irons from thrift shops, but she doesn't use steam. Is telling us. Yeah, I use steam because, well, I just do. I like steam. <laughs> I think it makes my blocks lay flatter and um, nicer. Do you remember the name of the blade place? Lisa Peg is asking. Uh, not offhand, no. For, through Amazon. It's a company through Amazon. Oh yeah, we got that Amazon gift card. Did you remember? I don't need any more blades right now. I, was... I got Tiffy an Amazon gift card the other day by doing an online survey thing. So she gets something from Amazon. <laughs> oh, I only 500 bazillion more blocks to go. I should have just like sewed them together. I'm literally barely shaving anything off of any of this. That's why I didn't even need any trimming. Mm. I really don't like when I get stuck trimming stuff that doesn't need to be trimmed. You got 10 years out of her last iron. It was a GE. Oh, interesting. Goodness, 10 years? I wish we could get. One year out of ours. <laughs> it's just, I think it's because we use our water, and our water is very, very disgusting. Yes, that's true. Havasu has uh, rough water, even though I swear by it for drinking, but it's it's pretty hard. It makes your faucets and your sinks kind Corroding. Of... Not corroding. What is the corroding. word? No, they're not. Calcified. Calcified. Calcifies them. Yeah. We have a lot of calcium in our water, I guess. A lot of people in town like to drink bottled water because of it, but I swear by drinking it. He drinks it. I don't. I drink bottle. These were almost exact. So I would suggest to you all, if you're going to do this, seems like there's really no need to trim all these down. So I'm literally barely getting anything off of any of these. Jill's been using the same iron for 15 years, too. Good Lord. You guys are just lucky with irons. Maybe it's because they don't use steam or water in their yeah. irons. I use water in all my irons. 
Yeah. Plus, I drop irons too. I have a bad habit of dropping irons. I'll set it on the table, thinking, "Oh wait, okay, it'll be fine. There'll be plenty of room with this quilt." And I'll go to slide the quilt over, <laughs> and then the iron will fall off the edge because I rattled it too much. It's actually kind of funny. I gotta count how many pieces of pink I need to cut down to nine and a half inches while I'm at this. Mm -hmm. Barbara uses a spray bottle and sprays the water. She doesn't put the, iron, the water in the iron. She sprays. She yeah, well, if I had a spray bottle in here, the girls would use it to spray everything, as That's in my true. machines and everything else. So I'd rather just keep it in the iron. Yeah, a spray bottle wouldn't work too well. Yeah. The girls would have a heyday with that. I have a spray bottle out in the, in the garage for the long arm for severe wrinkles and stuff. And yeah. Sasha will find it and she'll grab it and she'll start spraying everything. Same with Triana. Yeah, no spray bottles in here. And June uses distilled water. But yeah, we can't Tiff afford it. goes through so much, I would take. She has a row of bottled water that are, are, that are filled that we constantly are filling. Yeah, I save my water bottles from drinking and then just fill them with sink water and stack them in here and use them. And Jerry uses reverse osmosis. We don't have that, but that's an idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, a lot of places out here actually have that. We don't at our house, though. And Jim uses the spray bottle, too. Maybe that's the way to go. We'll have to figure out. Maybe try something like that. I don't know. And just have to keep it up on a higher, higher shelf, I guess. But I don't want it to end up leaking or something weird happen. But I could keep one in here and try it for a while. No water, just iron spray water. Do you use the steam button on your iron if there's no water in it to somehow steam up the water on the um, on your block or piece or whatever you're using water for? That's a question because I don't do it that way, so I wouldn't know the answer to that. They're talking iron brains now. Wanta and stuff like that. I have a mini one. I showed you guys this before. I have a mini. That's so cute. But the handle is broke. And a lot of you guys told me to contact Rowenta, but uh, I didn't get a chance to contact Rowenta yet because um, I've been really busy with a lot of medical stuff. So when I get a chance, I'll contact them and see that we can't figure out how to keep it. And if I go to press with it, it literally, this part right here is crushing my, my top of my hand and it actually hurts. And I can't just use it like this because, well, it's weird. So, but it's like brand spanking new. Look at that. It's like just dusty. That's all. I just don't know how to fix this handle. My daughter got it for me for my birthday. It works. It turns on. It heats up and everything. I, we just don't know how to use my hand uh, on it because it's smashing my fingers trying to press with it. How, how much time am I at? Can you look at the other screen for me? Yeah. Two twenty-three. Oh yeah, yeah. Two hours. It shouldn't take long to put eight rows together. As soon as I get these all cut, I should have just not cut them and sewed them together because. Yeah, they say we're once and we'll fix it. Dang. Maybe it's like a Craftsman tool product. Yeah, I know Craftsman. I mean, their stuff breaks. It's like a lifetime guarantee. Yeah. That's cool though. Well, just like Fiskars is. They have warranties on these mats as long as you have the receipt from it. Remember? That's how I got yeah. my second mat. Yes, because my first true. one was totally destroyed. And it wasn't fixing on its own with the bath or anything. Remember? We tried scrubbing it out and everything and nothing was fixing it. Here's the day of great customer service. Charlo Woodson has the same mini one. Really? Here's did the same thing. Oh, the handle broke. It's because yeah. there was a plastic piece in there. It's stuck inside of the iron, actually, I think. Unless it shook out last time Alexa was shaking it. Because we were trying to figure out how to fix it. We couldn't think of a solution. 
That's interesting idea there, Anita. What? She fills the bucket of water and lets it sit for 24 hours, and she fills the jug, the gallon jug, and then tries to only use the first top half to keep the minerals out, you know, mm -hmm. at the bottom. Oh, because the minerals are going to yeah. sink to the bottom? I don't interesting. Know. It's, it's I don't interesting. Know. I don't know how well that would work. That's Especially here. Well, out here, I don't know, because the heat is going to turn it into chlorine sitting out in a jug. <laughs> Great Jean had a nice Al Aliso iron that got knocked off the counter by the cat. Now it doesn't work. Oh, that sucks because those are like, what, $155 for those irons, the Alissos? Aren't they like that much still? Or are they finally in the 150s? <laughs> that's an, the most expensive iron I've ever seen besides the Rowenta one that um, Donna Jordan uses in Jordan Fabrics. Besides that, that's, that was my goal one, actually, is to get one of those because of the, the multitude of pressing that I do. I think that would be the perfect iron for me. I just don't know where I would keep it because it would not go on the ironing board. It'd have to sit next to the ironing board. We have a pain in the butt cat sometimes. Sometimes he can be good. Sometimes he can be a pain in the butt. So we know what that's like. And I'm not caring now about this whole diagonal thing, guys. I'm just doing what I was doing in the beginning. Okay, Sarah sent her address again by email, she said. Okay. Yeah, I'll get those out this week, because tomorrow Scott Tomorrow's goes my day. to the mail. I do all my errands on Monday. It's our only day off. I run here, there, and everywhere. Almost. This pile is getting smaller. Nita says she's been doing it for years. That seems to work. The chlorine evaporates in the mineral sink. Holy cow. Sue Smith says that her reliable iron was $300. What? She bought it from Missouri Star, where her husband did. Bought it for That's crazy. $300 for an iron? That's nuts. But, you know, if it's going to last for a long time, I guess it's worth it. You got to make sure you get as much use as possible out of it, that's for sure. Teresa's on. She says, glad that you caught you live. Oh, hey, Teresa. Is it Teresa McBrayer? The yes, one yes, that I was the one you were talking about. just talking about? That's the one who bought me the iron. Or gifted it to me, bought it for me. Same difference. Surprised me with, how about that? Because I was like, where, what? Who sent me this? Where'd this come from? It was definitely a, a wonderful surprise, though. Nancy Mosley wants uh, the link to the blades, too. She gave you her, her email address there. Let um, me write that down. Yeah, please. Okay. I know you guys think I can go watch the replay. I can go watch the replay, but at this very moment, the replay won't be available for like four hours for a comment section, so I won't even be able to see. So Scott can just write it down. It makes it easier. Yeah, if you have paper. I do have paper. There's a whole pad right there. See right. that yellow? Oh, look at that. I've been writing in the phone book. <laughs> That's what the phone book is for. Yeah, Work. Right phone numbers. <laughs> I have lots of addresses and so on and so forth. So I have my whole entire YouTube fan box is what I call it. <laughs> That's funny. Do I have like 20 blocks left to trim, I think? Hey. 
I'm probably at like 15 actually. Some of these I want to be on the diagonal. Nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half. So for those that are just joining, I am making the carpenter star, carpenter wheel, whatever you want to call it. Let me pull a little template out. I'm no trimming problem, my man. blocks down to nine and a half inches, so don't mind all my little stuff. I will take a picture of this. This is just because I'm doing it in three different colors, except I have to replace these four outer colors because I ran out of yellow. So it'll be, and I ran out of yellow here, so I will be using the pink for all of that, and then the inside of these will be yellow. So it'll look different than my picture, but I will put it in the Facebook group for those that want to know what I'm doing and so on and so forth. So this is what I'm doing. It's a carpenter star car carpenter wheel. It was originally called the Bethlehem star, but I don't know why it was changed. I don't know when it was changed. I don't remember all that stuff. I just, I know I've done several of these. This is my second time trying to line everything up. That is why I pre-cut all my pieces. Um, that's because I'm trying to make sure everything lines up nicely. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you missed the beginning, go back and see. I put little stickies. That's what these little circles are. Um, circle stickies from the dollar store to number all of my pieces. And I put it in each corner of my 10 inch square purposely so that I'd know that this side was num this was they were both the piece. If this was the same in one solid piece, that was nine and these are 32. You know what I'm saying? So the whole entire time I've been making sure that all my numbers coordinate, except when I got to 12, because my 12 looked like a 21 and I confused myself. But it was only momentarily unsolved and then I solved it and 10 minutes went by and we're back on track again. That's what I get for trying to keep myself on a diagram this time. Usually I don't do this. Oh, you don't do it. Trying to keep myself in order. Can I have my drinking water over there? Please? Yes. It's the one right next to the machine. Pretty please. What are the stickers for? I don't know. They're yard sale stickers originally. So oh. what you would get to put little prices on your yard sale stuff. Oh, I know that, but why are they on there? Give me the dots so I can show them right there. Yes. I, I know what the stickers, why, what's the purpose of them is what I'm asking. See all the numbers on there? Yes. They coordinate with the numbers on here. Oh. So that when I lay it out, it can go in oh, order. Oh, so you know what you're, oh, okay. Yeah. Smart one you are. So instead of going... To an expensive quilt store for little alphabeties or any of that kind of stuff, dollar store guys, they're stuck to the fabric. They have yet to fall off and they will come off and I'm pretty sure it'll be no residue. Jim asked if there'll be residue, but I'm pretty sure I don't think there will be because I've used these before and I don't remember any kind of residue being on my um, blocks. So, yeah. Well, I Jim there's the question, and I thought it was a good question, but it I, is still a good question. I still didn't, didn't know, know what, what the I was stickers doing, were. Yeah. I figured everyone else knew what was going on, but I missed the first. I was going grocery shopping. So, yeah, if you're curious, 99 cent store, general, dollar general, or dollar store, dollar whatever, just get those little things. They're, the people use them in yard sales. That's how I'm keeping all my pieces in a row. I wrote two of every number so that way both sides had a number when I cut it in half so that I can keep everything in order. And yeah, so far it's working out perfectly fine. They're all still on there. Exactly where I need them. Teresa said that was a great idea. I don't even remember. Oh, it was Just Get It Done Quilts, I think is who I learned actually from. That was a long time ago. She did a video of dollar store hacks. God, that she's done like several dollar store hack videos. And yeah, I think that's where I got it from. What's the way to go? Just like my <laughs> just like my video that I just released, cake plate for that pattern, using your kitchen plate. Why go out and buy a custom specialty ruler for a quilt that you're only gonna make one time? You know what I mean? When you can just go to your kitchen, grab a plate, and when you're done with it, wash the plate because it touched all my starched fabric. You know, when you're done with it, wash the plate, bam, done. You know, 
And I didn't have to purchase anything. And if I want to make it again, I just go to the kitchen and grab another plate. That is why I came up with that and created that pattern for you guys. And it comes together so lovely. I love it. It looks so cool. And if you lay the plate on it afterwards, the plate literally lays on it in that circle. It's kind of weird how that works, but it looks really cool. I like it at least. But then I like modern, you know, stuff. So, oh, this one's yes, very well, shy of. I got to stretch this out real okay. quick with the iron because this one is definitely shy of the size that it needs to be. They're talking food now. We're talking about cake and oh banana my God. bread. Banana oh, bread. Who said cake. banana bread? Jim. Oh, I want some banana. I have been We're talking about cake. Actually, that's what I should have told you to get me was banana bread at the store. If someone would have said that earlier, I would have had something for you to buy me. Okay, well, this block is going to be the funky one, but that's okay. Karen Ed is one. watching uh, while well, lunchtime. It's Monday at lunchtime for her. Oh, wow. So she likes yeah. watching us at lunch. Okay, this is seriously a screwed up block. Oh, well. I just got to remember that this one is just shy of a quarter inch. Just very shy. It's not totally, totally off. Mark it somehow. Put another sticker on it. No, 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 no. The size of it, the size of the block. I'll put a pin in it so I remember. The well, there you go. That's something. Mark it one. This is my smallest block. This one didn't have enough, but I'm still using it because I'll make it fit into the quarter inch seam. Terry says you make quilts so fast that stickers won't have time to leave a residue. Oh yeah, exactly. I don't use them very often. Like okay. this is like my fourth time using the dots. People are killing me. I'm hungry. I think I used them once in a video so that I can keep things in order. But that was only because I was making a video and I didn't want to get lost while I was in pause, fast forward, go. <laughs> Made sure I put little notes on everything. I think it was a more complex pattern. Although most of my patterns are easy, easy breezy go together fast. I'm cutting everything down to nine and a half for those that are curious or just joining. All right, three more, three, three, three more to cut. And then we can trim up some nine and a half inch. I need to count how many I need. Scott, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Count how many blank squares that are not, you know, they're just yellow or pink. How many are there? Blank ones. Blank ones all together. Do you mean ones that aren't two colors? Yeah. Okay. So just around the edges. There's, there's just three on every edge. So three times four is 12. Oh. I didn't see that. Okay. 16, then, right? Okay, yeah, 16. Okay. Because I'm out of the yellow, so I can't use any more yellow. Okay, 16. 16. I'm replacing with the pink because I have enough of the pink. So I'll cut that up and we'll lay this out and sew it together real quick. And then I'll get it all sewn together really quick and it'll be done in one video, hopefully. We'll see. Oh, red velvet cake. Tiffy likes oh, red velvet yes, cake. Oh, yes, I like red velvet cake. I also like German chocolate cake with cherries in it. Don't ask me why. It's like you you bake it with uh, that cher cher jar of maraschino cherries, you know, or a cherry jelly. Mm, so good. You bake it with it though. Instead of using water, you use the cherry juice from the jar of cherries and then you throw the cherries in it. Oh, it's so good. Don't know why. It just is. But I don't cook or bake anymore. I mean, I used to, but I don't. We can't even use our oven this time of year anyway because we have a galley kitchen and it's so burning up hot in there. Doesn't matter whether we have a galley kitchen or not. I had the toaster. I had the toaster in there yesterday, and I was standing at the toaster trying to make myself a bagel. And let me tell you, I was boiling hot. All right. Well, it's 120. It doesn't matter. Here's my shred. Off into uh, my shred pile. Now let's cut nine and a half inch. What did I say? Sixteen. So I have how many here? 
Yes, 16. One, two. Three, yes, they're making me hungry too, Georgia. Four, they're, they're evil. Five, six, seven. I have seven. All right. So we have to cut two more. Or not two more, sorry. I can add nine more. Are we making them all red? All the blank ones? Yep, I have to now because I ran out of yellow. Okay. It was supposed to be yellow, but I ran out. All right, so I'm going to line this up on a line real quick, and I'm going to cut this. I have to re-straighten that out because using my fingers messed it up a little. Well, it's okay. We're going to lay this out on the floor, hopefully. Or I can just sit up here and put the rows together, but... I'd rather you guys see what I'm doing and make sure that everything comes out like it's supposed to. Oh, we're doing nine and a half, huh? So I need to line it up on 19 and a half. Because I got to trim my other ones down. So lining that up on 19 and a half to make nine and a half. All right. I won't need this now. We're going to cut some salvage off, and then I got to trim the other ones down to nine and a half. I don't know what that is, Nita, but it sounds good. A sweet Adelaide cake, honey? You know what that is? Nope, never heard of it. Just mix it with maraschino cherries. Hmm. 19 and a half. Right. A sweet there. potato cheesecake. I would try that too. That sounds good also. Sweet potato cheesecake? It really sound good to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, You're it just doesn't. That sounds good to All me. Right. Sweet potatoes no, are no, good. No, no, no. Nine. 19 to 29. No, that would be too much. I'm just going to count because there's my half right there. So we're going to 19, 29, right there. There we go, 29. I never go to the next number. I always start on a whole, whole number. All right, those are nine and a half. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight more. I'm going to trim these down to nine and a half. One, two. Three, four. And I don't care about the waste from this, honestly. So y'all are talking about food. You guys do know not every single one of Tiffany's Quilting Life videos is quilting. Some of it is her life. She did make uh, food before, more than once actually. Did you bake for them? Do videos? Uh, I did Christmas dinner. Yes, you did enchiladas. Christmas dinner. I know you did the enchiladas, but didn't you make a cake or something else one time? I did, but I deleted the video. I didn't like it. It came out stupid. Oh. So we do have one Six, cooking seven, video eight, somewhere nine. on there. Of Christmas dinner. You guys want to go back and watch that? That's old, but it's last year's video, so. But it's still on there and it's a good video. And we're not talking about food now. All right. And your enchilada video was awesome because your enchiladas are awesome. So, yeah. All right. There's four more. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I'm missing one. Are you serious? I'm going to leave these as 10 inch squares. And I'm going to turn around and just cut four from here. <sighs> I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. You know why? Because I'm trying to use it up anyway. So I don't want any left. But now I have to retrim it straight again. 
We got 100 people watching. Really? Wow. That's crazy, huh? Thank you guys for being here. Watching me go crazy right here. Yep, they're watching you go crazy and all talk about cake and food and everything else. That's all they're talking about. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. It's keeping them busy while I'm trying to do this because I'm going to be laying this on the floor. It made me hungry. I had to go get leftovers. <laughs> all right. Now that's what's left over. All right, here's my four more pieces because I totally did not do where I wanted with the yellow, but that is okay. So let me cut this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half. So perfectly lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the half is already at the beginning, so let's line this up right here. All right, throwing all my scraps out of the way. Oops. I'll pick it up. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's lay this out now. Everything has now been cut. Scott, you're going to have to move your tootsies. What? Where are we going? To the floor. So where do you want me to go? I don't understand. Where do you want me to move? You can stay where you are. I was just saying move your feet. Hold oh! My, hold my chart. Never mind. Hold your I'll chart. put my hold chart in the floor. All right, guys. We're going to the floor. Uh-oh. Am I lost? This? Did I lose video streaming? I know of. Oh, because this screen is black. Nope. Show on the floor. It's because so many things were coming through. All right, guys. I'm going to lay this out now. And we're going to come over to the ironing board so you have more of a frontal view of the floor. It's much better, huh? Yes, much better. Okay. Where's my chart? You have my chart? Yes, of course I have your chart. We're going to go one. My chart. Oh, I thought you wanted me to hold it and read it to you. No. Okay. Take those off of there. We're going to start with 16. Aha. Down facing down, like that. Okay. We're going to go. 17 with the facing up, like that. And I'm probably not going to have enough floor space. Do you want me to help you? No. I can get down there and help. No, I'm good. All I'm doing up here is eating. I need to move my hip around as much as possible, so being down here is just fine. All right, now I'm at I 18. I comment on that. I won't. Yeah, leave it out. Leave it out of your mind. Dirty, dirty mind. <clears throat> leave it out of your dirty, dirty mind. 18. B, we'll see, 19, with B, like that way, and then two of these. So yeah, I'm going to run out of floor, split, floor space for this, but whatever. As you guys will see it come together, at least most of it. All right, so now I start with one of these. And then I should start with 14 and 15. So 14 faces down, 15 faces up. Then we should have 16 and 15 on this. So 15 faces down, 16 faces up, 17 faces up. Like that. Look at how quickly this goes together. And we have 18 facing that way. 19 and 20, 20 faces down, 19 faces up, and 20 and 21, 21 faces down. No. Like that. And then one of these go at the end. So I don't have to worry about these squares for a second. 
all you guys are getting is a nice butt view from me. All right, so we should have 13 facing up, 13 facing down, 14 facing up, did I choose two down like that? No, that's wrong order. That goes here. Oops, I knew I did something. So my 15 and my two are kind of the same color, but that's okay that they're fine. I'll just leave it like that. And we got the next one, which faces this way. Then we got a blank. This one. This is that one. And 22 would be faces. This way. All right. Next row. <sighs> I'm already tired, but I like to show you guys this part. All right. So now we're at B with the 12. Go that way. When and they're talking about a, sewing and how it's very relaxing. A 12 goes that way. And we have A with 8. Oops, hold on. No, where am I? I'm on this row. A with one. Ha. Ah. There. And then one with two. Number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Number two. So we have three with four. This. You're coming the rows from the side? Yeah, I'm going on Okay, this so way. yes, you're in the fourth. Four with A. They all should be in order still because I did not take anything out of order. So four with A. 23 with A. Which goes that way. And that last one, you're not going to see 23 with B because it's going to get hidden behind the desk, and 90% of the last of this will get thrown behind that desk. But that's okay. Because I don't have workspace. Well, so you can see it's getting pretty darn big. So I'm on this roof. So it's B with 11 facing up, right? 11 with A. Patricia says you are awesome. A with eight. See, so how this is how I did it purposely so that we don't get anything out of <coughs> order. Eight with seven. You're buffering off and on and getting blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Let me fix that. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help it. It must be your own screen because this one seems to be in perfect. No, it's um, this screen. Oh, uh, then that. Tablet. That's because that one's just running on the back of the internet, if that makes any sense. Oh, oh, okay. So it's our internet. Yeah, our internet sucks. All right, what are we on? Eight with seven. Now we're six with five. They can still see that other side one. You have a good view in the phone. Then we have 10 with 9. Oops. They're oriented the correct direction, too. This is so simple, though. Since it's only half square triangles, there's really not much to get out of order, if that makes any sense. Um, 7 goes this way. What am I doing to be to be? What are you doing? No, that's wrong. Wait. Oops, that's because there's supposed to be a square right here. 
Dur. Ha. Huh. I'm not paying attention. Seven with A. And then the next one is six with A. And a blank. And I'm not paying attention. <gasps> and then 25 and 26. So 26 faces upward. To see a copy of your paper then. Okay, I will put it in the Facebook <clears throat> group. Um, what am I doing? I'm at 26, should be this way. this way which you guys won't see because it's hiding over there all right so that next row we're on this row so i start with b i'm blocking the camera huh no 932 yeah. you're doing good 31 32 30 and A. You're a full throw ahead anyway. I can't tell if you're blocking or not. 29 A. Oh man, that's too close to that one too, but I don't care. I'm not going to stop just because of that. Um, no, you're not blocking it now. You're fine. My camera's on this row. You're doing good. And then it ends with one of these. Okay, so the next row starts with one of these. Do you want me to do this row? The next one. This row's not in the camera. These. No, it's fine. I'll turn the camera down so they can see it all. Well, and then I can help you lay them out. Oh, no, I'm good. And that goes there. And that row's not in the camera. There. I will put it in the camera in a second. There. I got you. There. And two of these. Ta-da! That's going to be completely square. Don't know why I got what I had in my mind in my mind. But... Oops. I see this quilt is beautiful. Love so this quilt. is what it looks like. Sorry for the noise untangling stuff. So here's the quilt laid out with two different colors. I like it with two different colors. Kind of looks like in a weird odd way like this big descending blocks at the same time. <laughs> oh what is it called? 3D blocks. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks like 3D blocks coming out and stopping. 3D blocks coming out and stopping. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's stack all these up into rows real quick. And that way I can just piece everything together. So, Scotty, if you want to hold this chart right there so they can screenshot if you want to see it. Quilt. This is supposed to be a but i changed it to b because they ran out of colors so scott will just hold this chart if you want to screenshot it i'm just going to pick them up in order of the way they will get sewn and then sew them all together so there's row one hopefully nothing gets twisted or turned all of my numbers are there so i can make sure while I'm sewing, that everything is where it's supposed to be, so on and so forth. This is the carpenter wheel or carpenter star. It's really old block used in the railroad days. I don't remember why it was, but that's only because I. And they love the colors. They say it's beautiful. It's awesome. Making it so long, I forgot all the information on it. Is something wrong in the last row? One person asked. No. It's just because two colors next to each other look the same. The other is the thing wrong. Two seconds. 
this is supposed to be this. That was supposed to be like that. Yep, it's oh, fixed. They had to get turned. You can move the camera. You can move that out of the way so they can see. Okay. Move well. that paper. And you can hold it, pick it up just carefully, and they can see. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. I turned them the wrong way. Change printing. So all my rows are just going to stay one stacked on top of the Let's other. Turn to the left side, second row from yeah. the bottom. Yeah, it's fixed. I we was wondering it. why it looked so weird, <clears throat> color on color like that. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing you noticed that. Do I would you have want noticed me to it. Turn this down. Once I real started quick sewing. before you. No, it's fine. Okay. I don't even have my rows numbered. I'm just going to pick them up, sew them, pick them up, sew them, lay them back on the floor, whatever. All right, let's put you guys back up at the desk. And let's sew all these rows together. So I'm just going to be picking them up and sewing. All right, let's put you right there. Let's see, you can see me. And I'll just remember row one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. Iron. That's my fresh water. I'm going to grab a row one. I'm also not going to keep this quilt a complete square. Because I don't like complete square quilts. Never have. So with the same border fabric that I used for the um, other quilt I'm also going to use in this quilt with all those leftover pieces I'm going to make something for the border for a top and bottom to lengthen them. for now just for the video's sake I am just only going to put this together the rest of it I'll do another time I don't know what the movie is tonight, Jill. That's up to Tiff. She has like three to choose from. Yeah, I've been in here for a while, so I didn't really get to choose what movie yet. Again, my seams are not pressed any particular way. And when I join all the blocks, I'm not even going to bother with that either. I'm just going to make sure one's going one way, one is going the other. In my brain, I'll remember the top row all seams should go this way. The next row should all go to the left and right and left and right and left. That's when I get to the joining them part. So right now, all the seams just go whatever way they're going because they're not touching. There's nothing to nest. So you don't have to worry about that at this point. You know what I mean? There's nothing to nest up and match. Alright, I'm gonna add this mess and grab row two. Yeah. Wanna something that uh, like my boyfriend's a loser or something like that? What's huh? the name of the movie? Something like my boyfriend's a loser. The other one's with that one lady from Bridesmaids, the funny comedy lady. Mm, I don't remember. And All right, so here's one row. Just for video's sake, I'll just finger press all of these to the right because I'm not going to press by um, iron. And they all kind of want to go to the right anyway as I pull off the table. So I'm not really too worried about that. The next row all go to the left. And I'm leaving my numbers on until the last very minute when I go to put all this together to make sure that every number matches its corresponding number as I'm putting it together to make sure I got nothing out of order or messed up or turned around. So I'm going to lay this on the floor, grab the next row, and sew it together. All right, here we go. Where's my little chart so I can make sure that okay. I 
I didn't turn myself, but just in case. Okay. You want me to put it up here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to put it on the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't turn it, so. I just want to make sure everything stays in the correct order. All nice and pretty like. So I'll have two quilts with the same fabric line, but different patterns, which I think looks really awesome. And again, I'm still sewing with the quarter inch seam for these. All of the seams for this whole thing are quarter inch seams. Everything in this row, I'm going to press to the left with my finger. When I get done sewing them all together. I'm really happy that I decided to do a whole entire project today than doing just scrap sewing because I really got time to get some more stuff done in here that I've been wanting to do. All right, so all these are going to get finger pressed towards the left. Again, you can press with your iron between every row, but I'm not in the mood. I'm just going to sew them all together. So in this stage, I can actually sew row one and two together real quick before I make any more rows. That way nothing gets out of order since I did not number anything. So I can take one and two, make sure everything is where I want it, and right sides together. Bring it up over here to me because there's only eight rows to sew. So, I mean, it shouldn't take very long. Line them up. Make sure that my seams are nesting because I finger press, so they should be. Everything should line right up and be spot on. Go down to that next seam. Again, it should all line right up. That's weird. What happened there? I have no idea. I had a seam to do. Daniel got here late. He wants to know how much you missed. Huh? Daniel got here late. He wants to know how much you missed. Uh, most of the piecing, but now I'm putting the rows together, so not really that much. He says, Sunday night fun time. Glad mm -hmm. I got to live stream. Now, I'm making a whole entire quilt top in this video, so minus any borders. I'll add borders later in my own spare time, because I know Scott wants to get to movie time. And I also got uh, packages to finish putting together. Georgia says you're amazing to design, cut, and sew all in a few hours. You're very inspired. Oh, thank you. I just am quick. <laughs> I don't know why I'm quick. I'm just quick. Plus, I really like to be able to show you guys the whole thing in one video instead of like video part one, video part two, video part three. Right, so bedtime for her, but she row the and one and two are done. I'm just going to lay these down. I'm not even going to press these. I'm just going to lay them down. And I'm going to bring up the next row three. I'm going to sew those together. I'm also going to bring up row four and sew those together. 
and then sew the two rows together to make it easy. So, and I got my chart in front of me. Everything should line up just right though. I don't even know what row I'm on. I'm on the third row. I don't even put an arrow to the third row. <laughs> By the way, I know where I am. Nothing was turned or twisted, so it shouldn't get moved around or out of order. So how is everybody? I know I'm taking this to a, a very long video, but I want to get it done now. You know, when you get into that mood and you're on a roll, well, I'm in the mood and I'm on a roll, so I might as well just get it done. I really appreciate that you finished your books and important videos, but you must be totally exhausted. Oh, I will be, trust me. Once, <laughs> once I lay in bed, I'll have Scott bring me some junk food and that's it. I'm done for the day. Although I should go out in the pool and do some exercises because I didn't do any of that today. But like I said, I've had a stomach ache for days now. And I went into the pool yesterday with the stomach ache thinking it'd be fine, but the girls moving the water, the waves of it, uh, that wasn't making me feel that great. So, so I decided not to go in. No, I'm good. I'll get in later. That's what oh, I was just okay. saying. I might go in later. I do need to get my exercises in for the day. Nice tomorrow. Nice and warm. Yeah, all right. So again, these ones are going to go to the right because the last one so went to the left so yeah these are going to go to the right so i'm just finger pressing these to the right so this is row three if scott knew how to press properly it'd make it go even quicker but he doesn't know how to do quote blocks this not is yet your thing, my love. i just read the comments <laughs> Okay, so here's row three. I'm going to set that out of the way. Everything's pressed to the right. I'm not turning it or flipping it. And so here's row four now. Put this together. What time is it? Anyway. 8.30. So if you wanted to flip, say these are both going the same way, if you wanted to flip it for less bulk, you can. Like I said, I'm not, not really worrying about any of that in this quilt because I'm going to press it all and it should lay flat after pressing it. So you want me to show you the paper again, Sandra? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, hold it up. I want to see the color pattern again. Let's hold it in front of the screen. So Marge says, great job. Lots of 3D effects going. <laughs> so you can see the whole thing. There, I think you can see it all. We can probably email it to you. I'm going to take a picture and put it in the Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, then I could email a picture, I guess. Not sure how to find the Facebook. Can you tell her again? It's in the description below. So if you click out of the chat and right directly below the video, there is a little button 
that um, if you press down, if you're on a computer, it's this under the video. If you're on a tablet or a phone or anything like that, there's a little arrow right directly below the video on the left or right hand side. If you're looking at the screen. It's all the way on the right, directly below the video. Hit that and it'll open up this long thing that you can scroll through. And it has links to all of my social media, my address, my email, all that stuff. Melissa says an entire quilt top in one evening. She's truly impressed. Well, I do this. I can do three of these in one day. I'm not bragging. I just, I can. That's if I was doing it scrappy. Especially the 10 inch squares. 10 inch squares are probably the easiest to do it with. Well, was 10 inch squares. They are now nine and a half, obviously. But yeah. It depends on how intense the quilt is. One quilt took her six months. That was because that was a show quilt. I that think was that was the really only one. Fancy, that nice one. Took forever. There are there are like three or four quilts that have taken weeks because I either had a fabric problem or a measurement boo boo and had to start over or something weird happened that I had to start over. You know. All right, so now I'm going to sew row three and four together. They say you're superhuman. <laughs> Jill says you're superhuman. <laughs> Maybe this is why I should be teaching. Because I can go to classes or something, teach a class, you know, at a building and be able to teach them to make a whole entire something in one sitting. <laughs> They'd have to all have jukies, though. Nobody could be working on a little slow, slow poke, jo slow poke Joe machine, you know. <laughs> Everyone would have to get used to speed sewing. That's what I could do. A speed sewing class. That would work. <laughs> you could do that. We, we call it coffee time. Zzzz. I don't drink coffee, but everyone else would need to to keep up with me. <laughs> do you have ADD? Have you ever thought about sewing? Well, sew with Tiffany. She'll get you through it quickly. <laughs> Mom would show up. Look at that. Mom would be there. I'd be funny. Jill says, as long as they don't like to keep up with you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be that fast. I would have my quote written in the sitting so that everyone will know what theirs is going to look like. Just because. Oh, come on, fine. There you go. I had a little skanky seam going on there. There we go. Sometimes it just wants to veer away. It's kind of weird how that works. <laughs> Melissa says you'd leave her in the dust. <laughs> Teresa, put your face in the face right here. Oh, okay, in the Teresa, now. it's in the for everybody. Teresa and Kim and the other Teresa and whoever else are my moderators, Diane, hey, um, and whoever else, like Becca when she's here. They can all add links to all the groups and other Facebook or to Facebook groups and to other YouTube pages in case you guys haven't subscribed. So for other YouTubers, if you are a YouTuber out there, uh, let Teresa know right now so that she can put the link to your YouTube channel in the um, in the chat. Because I know Scott does not know how to do that. So if you have a channel, I know Sarah, Quilting for the Soul, is a YouTube channel. She's here right now. I don't know who else is here right now besides Teresa. All right, so now I'm going to put three and four onto one and two after I make sure that they're correct, and they are. So I'm going to lay them together. Everything is correct, 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 and correct. Look at that. And now I know which one is always my top because I have solids that are just sitting there. So now these are gonna get put together. And then all I have to do is finish one, two, three, four more rows and then put the whole thing together. If Scott does the 
questions and I do this, I get done faster. I just read. If he reads the comments, then it helps. It's your thing is your channel. I don't try and interrupt. I'm just doing my thing. And usually I prefer to like look at you guys in the camera, but you know, when I get in my zone, I get in my zone. Georgia says if she said that fast, there's no way to see it. Mine are because I use this fancy seam guide. Now, if I was using this one right here, if I was using this foot, I 100% would not have straight seams. But, but when I use that and I have either my magnetic seam guide, which is this, and or the one that I have on here that's for my Juki, I definitely always have straight seams. So. Well, Tiff cuts her stuff ahead of time while the girls are here. Yeah, a lot, but this didn't, this was cut live on camera. All this today. Pieces. Oh no, these were layer, this was a layer cake, that's why. Oh. These pieces, the color ones, were layer okay. cake. This is the yellow and the pink I cut while on the live stream. Okay. That's the good thing. That's why I like designing stuff around layer cakes and jelly rolls and charm squares is because I like that I can make a pattern that I design work for those so that way it's less cutting for you guys. You don't have to cut out the original color square. Instead, oops, see, you guys are making me talking about messing up seams. Got my seams all skinny like me right now. Okay, so four rows are now together. In two seconds, they will be at least. All right, so here's four rows of eight so far. I'm gonna go lay this back on the floor up for you to see real quick. So it looks like everything is where it's supposed to be so far. Yep, 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 and yep. So I'm gonna go lay this back down and grab the next four and get those sewn together. Hey, can you lay this out flat and like just run the measuring tape over it real quick yeah. to see how long of course. it is? You don't need to see how wide, just how long. Because of course, obviously, I'm this is a one. Because you're not done yet. This is a 100% square quilt, so all of these will not be. Well, you're not done yet, so I can see how. <laughs> no, no, it's going to be the same wide. It's 100% square. It's going to be the same width as length. Okay. okay, CJ, come pull the other end. Let's quick do a rough estimate here. I'm, I'm saying like 70 something, 71 or something like that. You think so? I think so, but I'm not sure. That's my, that was my. You pull one end, I'll pull the other My end. basic math guess. <laughs> it's not pressed, so. Pull it somewhere straight. Right here. Put that over there. Okay, about 72 and a half. Oh, okay. I was close, guys. 72 and a half ish squares. How big this will be. <laughs> Until I add my my borders. <laughs> Terry says the stickers look like sequins. Oh. <laughs> How funny. Well, those can actually all be starting to be pulled off now. Let's see if they leave residue. Start pulling the stickers off. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt they leave residue. But Scott can pull them off and see. Yes, Tiffy, yes. Give me a second. That way that part's done. I don't know why. Yeah, there's something to Oh, okay. Well, I didn't. Making sure. Nope, everything's matching to its corresponding color, right? He doesn't know because he doesn't know what to look for. And I ran out of bobbin. After all this, finally ran out of a bobbin. And I thought, oh, all the stickers are coming off just fine. That's what you're worried about. Yeah, stickers are coming off fine, he said. They're still all sticky. They are? Yeah. 
Good. They didn't lose their stickiness either. No, they're all sticky. Being ironed. Very sticky. Why did you underline 12? Oh, it's because 12 and 21, I wrote exactly the same. My writing oh. looked so sloppy that 12 and 21, I got mixed up. Oh, okay. Yes, Terry. So now these will all get pressed to the right. And someone mentioned my nails when I first came on. So now that I'm just randomly thinking about it because I'm pressing. Um, I painted my nails a couple days ago. Maxine came over and we painted Triana's and um, I painted Maxine's and then I painted mine and they are baby blue. No, no, no. They're sky blue with a baby blue uh, sparkly coat. It's not clear coat because it's baby blue. It was just the next coat was baby blue on top of it. So they're quite pretty. I liked it. Usually I go for reds. I'm 100% I'm all red. My toes are red. Like, like a reddish purple right now. I usually like red. But I let Triana pick my color this time, so she chose She did a blue. good job. I liked it. So they came out pretty nice, except for I've been doing things with them, so as we all know, your nail polish gets torn or chipped or whatever. Especially when you do your own nails at home. Now, if they were salon done, I would be pissed if they started chipping. <laughs> but I haven't had the salon do my nails in a while. I'm afraid to go into a salon since I have valley fever. I, I don't want to smell the smell in the salon. And, and then all of a sudden I start gagging and vomiting or something weird. So... For now, I'll just try to take care of my own nails. They haven't broke yet. Knock on wood. Oh, nope. All the rest. The internet is not wanting to, so. Um, those of you that didn't stay, I'm tried to rush it but so i can't help internet problems unfortunately that's one thing that i cannot change is an internet issue you lost almost everyone that's you okay. went from over 80 people to 20. sorry late anyway for all my east coast friends um, I'm just gonna rush this together Teams. That's why this comes together so quickly. As I How much? I like it when it stays on the same video. It's back. Time and it kills the internet. Okay. Next row. My nose ring is sticking out, huh? Feels like it. Is my nose ring So the video kind of still records sometimes because I've gone through and watched my own replay and acting stage. That's why I don't kick the feet off completely. Tell everyone if they want to leave, they can. The replay will be available, but I'm going to stay to finish this. But if you want to leave, I 
locked yeah. out. Not at all. I, I, iPhone. iPhones don't have that. How would I know? Now you know. I do you think I was trying to get you an Android and not an iPhone? It has talk, talk text, but talk text sucks on it. Trying to take this. Yes, now you're back, but you're gonna keep going in and out probably. Just, just write it in the word. Please just tell them right before you're on. Okay, so I'm having internet problems. If you want to stick around, stick around. If not, it's no big deal. The replay replay will be available later. On the other hand, I'm going to keep recording and pushing through. Just letting do its internet mess up thing. I told you guys when I, you first subscribed to my channel that I have really horrible, horrible internet here at my house. Um, I'm surprised it lets me do what I'm doing live stream wise. September, hopefully, we will be getting this because we really don't have the money. That. Without my social security, it makes things hard. So. We're not looking forward to four making eight and then i will press it real quickly while the video is still on so actually scott you can turn the iron back on no pop pop the little purple thing that little purple thing that pulls the cap of water out fill it with water so it's full of water push the little purple knob pull out on the top And then in that top silver thing, you guys should see Scott trying to fill this iron. Why can't I just fill it with an axe? Why don't I have to take this out? Because you don't want to get iron anywhere, water anywhere else on it because it hooks to the base. I'm not going to pour water on that edge of a hole. I didn't know if the iron was still hot. I'm sorry, but... Okay. Almost done. Yep. I didn't do that. That came out. Okay, it still says it's off, though. What do I do to turn it on? Press the button underneath the green light. It's set. Mm -hmm. okay. Press it Low, again. Medium or high? High. Okay, it's at high. It's blinking. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Two more pieces. So you're going to come over here and iron? That means I need to move all the mess that I just got. Am I still on? Over here, yeah, but I don't know how many times you came on and off while I was doing the work. Remember, you go off and on a lot, too. Sorry about the internet for those of you that are just joining, or those of you that are left, or those of you that. Uh, watching the replay and maybe it is kicking out and in and out and in and it's like skipping or whatever. That's just because I had internet issues tonight. It's not good. Alright, I'm going to put this to this. Put these together right here on so this side. Line oh, this up. So I'm going to hook these two to the other two and then hook all four to four, but I'm going to press them in between that step. That way they all fit on the ironing board real quick. And then the only seam I have to press is the joining of all of them seam. 
that way I can show you guys and then be done so that you can not be annoyed by my internet. I know some people are annoyed by horrible internet service and unfortunately I have no control over that and neither does any YouTuber really that does live streaming and or even uploading because uploading I could tell you a video will be available every Tuesday but in reality it won't come on until probably in the middle of the night on Wednesday you know so I mean it's it's definitely not just me when it comes to live streaming it happens to video uploads and so on you probably have the best internet ever but yeah, I think How it's Sunday night. How many layer cakes or whatever did you use? For Just that? one layer cake. And then I cut out, uh, let's see, 16, and wherever my chart went. I don't know where my chart is, honestly. Right 16 yellow squares, 14 but, pink. So I originally had needed 16 yellow squares and 14 pink, but I traded out this to be pink. So technically 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 pieces were yellow and 14, 14, let me say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces were yellow. I had to trade it out. I didn't have enough when I drew the drawing. I drew it off of not knowing what colors were gonna go where. So I didn't know how much fabric I had left and the goal was to use up the rest of it and make another quilt but with the same as my previous videos quilt fabric so same fabric two different patterns is the what's going on with this quilt it's gonna be just like another one color wise but not the same pattern like I said earlier, it's like people that do the same pattern, but different fabric lines. To me, it still looks like the same pattern. Two different fabric lines, though, and same fab fabric lines, but two different patterns. Now, that's a different. All right, so let me take these down here. Make sure everything lines up. And it does. Look at that. Yay. Right sides together. Um, ouch, my hip. You okay? Yep, I'm fine. Yeah, all that away, stuff right? that's wrong with my hip is I keep banging my hips into the <laughs> into the counter. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's a ginormous ironing board. All right, here is now the last of it. So I just got to sew these and then. I'm going to press the two halves and then put them together. And then I'll show you what it looks like. You purchased from other places other than Tuesday mornings? Yeah, I purchased from Three Star, Jordan Fabrics, blah, 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 you name it. Uh, I did purchase from Fat Quarter Shop, but uh, some of the places that I purchase from, I don't like to purchase from because budget. Budget is the problem. When you're on a budget, you really definitely need to stick with more budget-friendly things like um, So Yeah in Las Vegas. I know you have to pay for shipping with anything, but um, they're cheaper than my local quilt shop. So, I mean, it, you definitely need to shop around for what you like and what's affordable. Um, you can still shop from local quilt shops, not just in your area, but other local areas, you know, mom and pop type places that are um, not big chain stores like, say, Hobby Lobby, Joann's and so on and so forth. But where I live, if I want something right now kind of thing, it's um, when Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby and Walmart have fabric those are the places i go when i need something specific um we drive an hour and a half away to go to joann's which is we don't have here it's in another city and then um anything else that i can't find anywhere else custom orders i order online i also um, utilize etsy 
quite often. Um, and let's see, I'm trying to think of other companies that I use. Marshall Dry Goods. Um, like when it comes to buying by the bolt or uh, 108 backing, you know, things like that. Is That's definitely a thing I get from Marshalls. Um, yeah, I, we've ordered actually from Amazon, but I do need to give forewarning for that. Be careful if you're trying to order. Scott ordered me some um, five inch squares bundle once and they came in and it was like somebody cut a bunch of scrap um, clothing fabric of all sorts and called it quilt squares. I got some that are, were sheer thin, some that were super thick and was probably a knit for clothing. I got some that were jean fabric, like, and it said quilting squares and he didn't know the difference. And he bought like four packs of this. And yeah, I got some funky stuff. I did make a funky quilt out of it, but um, I do not recommend it. So make sure you read the descriptions on things you're ordering from Amazon and um, eBay and even Etsy, because you never know what you're gonna get. But yeah, I would definitely to stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna press these two halves real quick and then I'll be back into the screen. Yes, Terry, we miss buying bolts from Walmart. Our yeah. Walmart here has the same as all you guys are saying in your Walmarts. There's no fabric at all whatsoever. Yeah, there's no fabric anywhere in this whole wide world right now. We're... You can't order it online from Walmart online. The places it doesn't even that come closed, up on their site. The places that closed completely for COVID um, still have fabric because they closed during the COVID thing, like little shops, you know. But everywhere else, big chain stores that were still open, they definitely are out of everything, which really, really royally sucks. But hey, what can you do? It, it went for a good cause, I guess. That a lot of masks were made and people were saved from getting sick, I guess. Although I still don't, you know, whatever. I'm not going to get involved in that. But Kathleen says, so yeah, their cakes are a good price of $30. Yes. Definitely a good price. That's why I recommend going to them, especially on their V-Stash videos and stuff. If you guys ever catch them on their V-Stash videos, you can spend a lot of money, but set a budget, like Becca says. Um, I've watched same names uh, purchase thousands of dollars worth if I was to actually sit there with a calculator um, and watch those names. I could swear they were spending thousands, like, oh my god, their name one again, their name one again, over and over again. I'm trying to press this real quick, guys. Do what? Oh, stickers. Oh, yeah, no. No, I'm not touching the stickers. I'm just pressing. I'm trying to get both of these seams at the same time. I'm not even caring which way they go as long as the flat, I'll do the rest later. I just want to be able to show them a finished quilt. And I don't like that I have to keep plugging this iron in on the charger. Definitely not for quilt tops like this. I'm not really pressing very good, guys. I'm just kind of doing a quickie job to make sure that this quilt lays somewhat flat for to show you. I know how to iron. I can iron it for you. That's fine. That right there. That's it. Oh, I didn't press that one either, huh? Nope. Duh. I'll be back on the screen in a minute, dudes and dudettes. Yeah, I like that one. Dudes and dudettes. Your Joann says fabric. We've been trying to get fabric from our Joann's for a while. Yeah, our right? Joann's has been out of been the out. stuff that I'm looking for for specific projects that I needed more fabric for. Our Joann's is like an hour or so away. And yes, they say it's out online and in the store. There's certain fabric we've been looking for for a while to finish something for our neighbors. Yeah, our Joann's is bald.
Well, same here, Joe. We like to see fabric up close and in person, but that's hard to do right now. <laughs> yeah. Very hard. That's 100% why I choose to buy at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Tuesday morning, so on and so forth, because it's near me. I have a local quilt shop that I buy from, too, but not very often, only for thread mainly. I do support them. I just support them in purchasing of thread, because... They're the cheapest thread I found. So, I broke a nail too. I'm so mad. Oh, you. So mad. That was my shortest nail too. Okay. Come on, heat up your stupid iron. Why don't you let me finish ironing? You can finish it up there. Let's try. Okay, you can get a piece now. All right, here we go. Let's grab this one, put it on top of this one, and take it over here. Here we go. Sewing that last seam while the iron heats back up. Halves, you guys have all seen how rows are put together. If my internet wasn't so crappy, I would have been able to have Scott hold the whole process, but unfortunately, the internet is. Kind of crappy. I don't want to crap I can have the camera if you want. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is nest my steams. My steams. Nest my steams. Look at me. Well, yeah. we're nesting them. The steams. Oh, yes. There's the steaming. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> he has no idea about my nesting steams. <laughs> Usually my silliness doesn't come out until way later at night, but you guys are going to get a little bit now because it's probably pill time, isn't it? Is it pill time right now? After night? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. you killed movie night, honey. That's okay. All right. This is literally the last scene, and then anything else I do to this quilt will be off camera or in another whatever add to it video. But for now, this is the last scene. And then I'll press it and reveal it. And Scott said it's 72 something. 72 and a half. So yeah, it'll be 72 and a half inches. Square. That's a rough estimate here, but it's pretty much. So I was close. I said 71, but we can't always trust Tiffany's head math. <laughs> My head math is horrible. So horrible. I was just pulling it on the floor. Maybe it's like 73 and three quarters or something. I don't think it's going to make it 73, but it's 72 and something. Yeah, that's fine. 72 and a half is probably what it is. Because they were cut at nine and a half, so there wouldn't be no three quarters. It would be whole numbers. No halves. Or quarters, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she finally finished the cake. Here comes the boys. It was good while it lasted. Oh no, they're about to wipe out the milk too. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Two seconds. Oops. Stay where I had you. Thank you. Let me press this open and then you guys can see the finished, finished quote. All right. We're out of the camera for a second because I'm just brushing a kind of in an awkward little area back here trying to press this but that's only because I'm not using the full extent of my ironing board. Ooh, my center points actually are kind of nicely lined up. That's good. <laughs> Of course they're nicely lined up. It's you, honey. You always do a good job. Yes, yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Some of them are like perfect and then the rest yeah. aren't. <laughs> they're good. Because I really don't care. As long as the whole thing is done. 
All right, ready to turn that light off because those see glare. I'm gonna turn the camera and we're gonna hang, hold this up and show you. So this is what I was making. Okay, light it up. What I was making, it's the carpenter wheel or carpenter star. Like I said, I'll put a picture in the group. The only reason why there is a black line is because that is if you were to put it into quarters, matching your colors, and then you'd flip the next piece, flip the next piece, and so on. So that's if you're making four quarters looking the same. All right, we're going to turn the camera. Yes, we also have that picture. Here, here, here. Well, just grab one and I'll grab the other. I'm going to turn the camera. All right. I don't want to be on camera. Okay, dock yourself. Up and grab that corner. I don't know how well because I can't see the screen. Well, we have a big delay, so I can't tell you by looking at the tablet. So there it is. Two different colors. My points look good. I wasn't trying to get the same ones, but Sarah says it's beautiful. It happened, so obviously this color is below that color. I didn't really want that, and that color below that color. But I really don't care. My points match up, and it used up that next layer cake. And this is pretty big. This will fit on a, um, a full-size bed on the top once I put borders on here, just as is. That's how big this is. Yeah, I'll say an amazing, beautifully made, amazing, another beautiful job. So I'm bringing all. this in. Here's all my pieces. Here's all my pieces coming together in the center. I mean, that's not bad for rushing it for a video. And it's not focusing, go figure. So there's all my centers, and I wasn't pressing right to left, left to right, or making sure anything was pressed the same. I was just kind of doing it. Little heart smiley faces. So. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> they like it, honey. That is it. Let me fold it like this real quick so that I can see. They say that looks great. So the way I marked that paper off is if you were to make four quadrants. So four matching quadrants, you would put one. If you were to make them four across by four down in quadrants, then you would put the next one on this way, and then the next one underneath on that way, and the next one underneath on that way, making a big four patch, and you would have this same exact thing. So there it is, my carpenter's wheel or carpenter's star, whatever you want to call it, done. I will do borders and stuff another time. Um, let me tip this around. Okay. So does anybody, ooh, look at my hair's all a mess. Does anybody have any um, questions, concerns? This is what I did. So it's the same fabric as the other quilt, and I'll have to take pictures and put them side by side or something so that you can see the difference of the two different quilts, but the same fabric, I'll probably have to post them. <laughs> Jill says take a bow. <sighs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad that there's quite a bit of you that stayed around and finished the video and so on. Um, anybody else have any questions? Not so far. They're just saying you did good, beautiful. Time for you to rest. Beautiful yep. work. I'm going to rest. I'm going to go uh, take my medicine because nine o'clock is my pill time. So <laughs> huh? I, I wouldn't be Beautiful. on that. Maybe yeah, that's why I started getting. Done. <laughs> she says I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that took three hours and 55 minutes and 33 seconds. So almost four hours. And I still chit chatted some of the time. Um, I didn't have everything pre cut. So I well, cut the fab the other fabric right here in front of you. So, I mean, you guys can do these. It's not that hard. If you weren't chit-chatting like me and making a video and having internet problems and blah, 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 I'm pretty sure in the same time slot right here of four hours, you can do this whole top. The pattern you're posting isn't going to be blank, right? It's no, I'm just going to post this exact yes. picture. And don't mind the B swapped for the A. You can make this the same color, which you can see the color is A. So you can make this A or B. Um, you know what I mean? I would have liked to have it be the yellow. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough pieces. But I will put this exact picture that I drew up on there. Okay? With all the numbers matching the way they are supposed to go. And you guys saw how I put that together. It's so simple. Um, Pre-cutting them in half and doing that. Um, yeah. It was a lot easier than 
trying to draw the line and then sew on both sides of the line. That way is a little bit better on the bias, but you also that way end up with a scrappy quilt unless you know exactly what piece is going to be matching with what exactly what peach piece. So that way both sides of it have somewhere to go. So you'll have duplicates throughout your quilt. So I didn't want that. I want everything to be different. How many squares did you need? Eight across by eight down. So 64. 64 pieces, 64 total squares in this quilt top. So I have plenty left over. So I have this many left over. So I'm gonna use this towards my border. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 pieces from a 42 piece charm pack left. So I only used 36, right? No, 32, right? If I have 10 left and I had 42, yeah, I, did, I used 32 pieces. Yeah. So I used 32 pieces from my charm or my layer cake. So that's it. All right, guys. Well, if nobody else has any questions, I'm going to post the picture of this um, paper in the group. And then um, I'm not going to take still photos of that quilt until later because I would really like to stop and just stop and stop for the day. <laughs> so I'll do the rest of that later, taking pictures and stuff and giving it a good press and then adding more borders and so on. So that will get posted later. But for now, I will post this so that just remember, if you've watched this video and you find this in the group, this line means a quarter of the quilt if you don't want to piece it by row. So you can piece it by quarters into a four patch. And then the scribbles just mean that this was supposed to be A. Okay, just like these were supposed to be A, but they ended up being B. So just remember that. But you can make them whatever you want. So it's up to you. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining for So Sunday. Take it hour of your Sundays and get some sewing done. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe down there. Or actually, it's that way. Um, like my videos and share them with your friends. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> nope, nope, fingers.